Well, what what would you say? What episode we're doing? Yeah. What episode? It's it's the devil's do. Not the, the devil's who, do, what? but devil's do. The devil went down to to Pentax too. Ventax too. Ventax got Ventax. their got her Looking due for a civilization to steal. <laughs> That's a big thing to steal. That's yeah. <laughs> She's she was a very ambitious pirate. Uh, to, to, <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> she was. Yeah. Wow. Ah, ah, you bit me. What? Fuck. <laughs> Charlie, <laughs> you bit me. <laughs> you bit my finger. Was that, your, was that your cat? Yeah. What did you do to her? I was. I was. I was uh, Why is she you? Her you were chin. combing her with her your chin. Comb. I was. I was. I was scratching <laughs> her chin. And she's fine. And then I went too low near the cleavage area, and she. Oh. Bit. She was like, don't touch me there. Yeah, don't touch me there. You don't have there. permission. Yeah. My eyes are up here. But <laughs> He's like, let go of my purse. <laughs> I don't know you. I don't know you. That's my purse. <laughs> uh, welcome to Newbie King of the Hill, where God. we go through every episode of King of the Hill. Starting and according to Sarah, <laughs> Scott's back. Scott. Yay! Welcome back. Hey, Scott. everybody. Our f- one of our back. favorite guests. I'm not going to say. Well, <laughs> he's he's top of the list for me. He certainly guested the most so far. He's the most yeah. prolific guest for sure. So and yeah. he's very popular on our okay. online community. <laughs> well, you How know does it feel to be so loved? I <laughs> I just choose because I was smart in choosing the very popular episodes. <laughs> is Devils do a popular episode? Uh, no, yeah, I was I was people, actually going to say as it. a caveat. I think this is probably <laughs> one that was. I don't know. Is con- I think a lot of people like it, but I don't know that it's considered like in the pantheon of great TNG episodes. But I know a lot of people actually like it. Well, I, hmm. I'm noticing people, a trend. People though. cosplay. People cosplay as Data as Scrooge. <laughs> yeah that's actually an awesome cosplay if you wanted to do that especially (laughs) yeah data as scrooge meaning you just have to like pale up your your that's really great a little more (laughs) and get some yellow contact lenses yeah that'd be really awesome they'd be like why are you like a weird old-timey man (laughs) Mm -hmm. are you you abraham lincoln no (laughs) (laughs) well i'm guess i'm sensing a theme with scott's episode choices you chose um what was the the one where oh, they yes. thought Picard who was a god? Who watches the Watchers? Yeah, yeah. who watches the Watchers? Mm-hmm. And there's also the Devil. Kind of <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. And somewhere so, in the middle of there, best of both worlds. Yes, which is about communism. I don't know. <laughs> it's That's hard. That's not to, a porn title. It's no. about it's about no. the God and yeah. the machine. The oh, God okay. because oh. it ended with a Deus Ex Machina. I feel like that could be like a good, you know, like um, you know, like those porns that have like. The, the spinoffs of like, you know, I think that would work just as is, like best of both worlds. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, like well, that's it. Yeah. You don't need it to be creative. Like, I don't know. What are some of the creative ones? That Same for with? Devil's Do. Devil's Do is very much, yeah. a, you know. Devil's you know. Do me. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. See, that's that's what I would change it to. Yeah, exactly. Probably. Uh, my, probably. my favorite one ever is the the simple transposition of I and O in The Lion King. To <laughs> the Loin King. Yeah. <laughs> nice. That's yeah. the best one, man. Well, that's perfect. The Loin King, yeah. My favorite is, my favorite is still Men in Black Men. That's oh, good. yeah. That's pretty good, too. Oh it's, it's just a simple addition of, like, yeah. one word or, like, you know, yeah, yeah. the simpler like, is the better. Oh, okay. That makes it an yeah. entirely different movie. Got yeah, it. Got you just need one little word and you're, you're In this done. case, I think. You're in business. And, well, in the, you know, best of both worlds, I think it works. Mm. As is. Well, 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 best of both worlds is not or what we saw this do week. Or devils do me. <laughs> saw devils do this week. Devils do. <laughs> devils do. Devils do. First aired mm. February 4th, 1991. Dan. Sure Dan, did. Let's go around the sun. Woo. Okay. So I know I've been talking all of all like for a while about how Home Alone was the top of the box office, but this was the very last weekend at the top at the top and it ended a three month streak which is a pretty long ass time 12 wow. days, 12 weeks in a row try what doing movies? that now jerks wait I mean, wait what, the, what movie is it what, which one home alone oh okay i mean like didn't like avengers do that i guess yeah 
Avengers did that. Same kind thing of... with Top Gun. Top Gun was number one for a while. Well, too, yeah, Top Gun, was Top Gun Maverick too. Yeah, it's I guess, rare like, though. Po- yeah. Post COVID, it is like a little weirder because it's like also like at the time was like what else are we gonna watch in theaters? Other yeah, than we'll try Top doing Gun that now Maverick. with a comedy movie. That's uh, true. Batman, yeah. Batman was. It? <laughs> <laughs> He's a, hey. it's a laugh yeah. right yeah. yeah it was great my parents yeah. died huh huh <laughs> <laughs> as a riddler Hilarious. he's funny he's making funny riddles as he kills people <laughs> yes you can all laugh at Paul Dano yelling in his cell uh, number one on the billboard charts was CNC Music Factory's Gonna Make You Sweat parenthetically known as Everybody Dance Now wait Bra- that's the actual Bra- name Bra- of the song yep. oh. <laughs> the real name of the song is Gonna Make You Sweat I did not so, know that okay. yeah so that is when that song like you know was on the scene 91 February I have a um, weird association of that song with the Teen- Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie and I think that's wrong yes it would be that song yeah. did not appear in that movie it didn't at all appear at at all no. the other song that goes duh, 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 oh yeah duh. yeah that's uh it's yeah a different that's, song though um yeah, yeah that's uh oh, this is Boop. what this is what we do yeah yeah do it the rhythm of the night <laughs> yeah that's oh, it yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. i love that song <laughs> this is the rhythm wait that was in night. teenage turtles <laughs> yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It would have yeah. been amazing I've never seen if, it. if Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles <laughs> ended like Bo Trevi. Oh man, yeah. it's like also, Splinter doing yeah. a dance in a club. Well, well, <laughs> there's that Splinter cutscene where Splinter is is uh, he's in the sewer, and then he's like, "Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me." And then they start playing <laughs> Goodbye Horses. <laughs> We cycled through quite a few movies there. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot All of right. things Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles can be. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, three days later, on the fourth of February, the standard rate of U.S. postage was raised to a whopping twenty-nine cents compared god to its damn previous it, dude. twenty-five. Oh my god! Too much. I know. Oh it, it, it's insane. Also, on the same day, Alex Trebek made history by becoming the first person to host three U.S. TV game shows at the same time. What Aside from Jeopardy, which he'd been doing since 84, he had taken on hosting Classic Concentration in 87 for daytime TV. And finally, as of the 4th, he took over hosting To Tell the Truth, a game show where a panel of celebrities would need to correctly guess which of the three contestants the host had described via their weird occupation or experience. This distinction didn't last very long, however, because both of those other game shows wrapped up in uh, 1991 later that year. Yeah. yeah. Also, Ryan Seacrest, he hosts like 35 shows at once. <laughs> so that's yeah. not impressive I at know. all. He's hey, like man, everywhere It took a while for Ryan to do that. Yeah. We're and talking 91 a, game shows here. And they had wait, wait, engineer does, Ryan Seacr- does it Ryan Seacrest host game shows? Still? Everything. Do. Game shows. Yeah. He does everything, if you, man. If you pay him enough, he'll host your, for your fucking... Well, your but how many of those hostings were like singular <laughs> specials, though? Yeah, that's like true. annual specials. Because he took over know. Dick Clark's... Or Rockin' yeah. Holidays. Yeah. He does yeah. Rockin' yeah. Eve. He does American Idol. He does American, American Me. Um, does he still he do has, he has his own uh, he has his own morning or radio show yeah. right like yeah. he does, does the he, radio he didn't that? sleep he didn't sleep <laughs> no. he's just always on cocaine. yeah, yeah. He does host that. you know how he gets he gets rest he puts on this is a rhythm of the night. <laughs> oh, and he just kind of just, just pops and his head instead of showering <laughs> he just gets into a room and goes yeah his life yeah. is surrounded by music yeah, yeah. What a what a musical more man. Than one of him. Anyway, that's a trip around the sun, everybody. What? That's that's, that's, that's what they call Ryan Seacrest the music man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's why yeah. they. Yeah, that's what he's called. Yeah. What? Yeah, he's definitely don't, not called anything fu- else. Don't do yeah. No other names. No other joking names it. associated no. with his name. No, not at all. Poor Ryan Dunkelman, man. He got the short end of the stick on that. <laughs> no, no. He's, <laughs> he was the yeah, he, he, did. Did. he was the he was the co-host of Idol, right? And Seacrest took off. Yeah. And, well, because yep. Seacrest in. invented that out for the out phrase, Seacrest out. Oh, yeah. And then oh, they were is like, that oh, the reason for his fame? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seacrest out? Dunkel- also, yeah. think about it. Is that doesn't seriously sound good. why? Dunkelman out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it doesn't roll off the tongue. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Seacrest is a much more marketable name for whatever reason. Yeah. yeah. So you'd have been like, I'm dunking out. Or yeah, wait, is um, <laughs> the runs here's, on here, here are my ideas. Here are my ideas. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, get him to be the Dunkin' Donuts guy, right? Yeah, and then, oh man, and then uh, guess, get um, you, you know, who doesn't have a job right now? That stupid <laughs> son of a bitch, uh, the New Jersey fucking <laughs> mayor governor, Chris Christie. 
<laughs> right? <laughs> you get him. You get him to be Krispy Kreme donuts, like mascot <laughs> Chris Christie, the Krispy Kreme. And they need to donut. run against each other in some yep. sort of political race. Yes, Dunkelman and Chris Christie. <laughs> I'm gonna dunkelman on Crispy Christie. Yeah, <laughs> Crispy Christie. Oh, he's so ugh. Crispy Christie. <laughs> yeah. Oh Not my dunkelman, god. Not Cr- dunkelman, Christie. That guy. Crispy both of them, Christie. Both of them are, are shitbags. <laughs> okay. Uh, d- just real quick, Krispy Kreme yes. versus Dunkin' Donuts. Who wins? Uh, I like oh. Dunkin' better because of the variety. I think um, Dunkin's yeah. better. I like Krispy Kreme, but if we're just going Boston creams, then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with uh, with Dunkin' Donuts. Because Krispy Kreme have Boston cream donuts. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, they have donuts. They call beyond. them something else, but they okay. they they're, they're the same thing. They just call them something else. I'll tell I, you that I, one of the best things Krispy Kreme does is like that one Friday out of every month where they ch- switch the glaze machine to chocolate glaze. Oh, you love that yeah. chocolate glaze. Yeah, but it's like instead of just a chocolate like <laughs> that sounded top. very like I don't yeah. know out of context. I don't know how I'd feel about yeah. this conversation. Sounds like you, you like the best. Well, yeah. I mention it all the time, but We're going it's back just to like, Men in Black Men. <laughs> yeah, I probably yeah. only mentioned it to you like twice. I was mentioned anyway. a few times in college, so that's why I bring it up. Well, this is all good to know, Dan, for future reference. Now we no, know they weren't even doing it back in college. I th- really, they weren't. No. Because I okay, remember you I was, talking about you donuts, like chocolate crispy cream. Donuts were invented back then. Well, that was the be- <laughs> that, that's the best flavor they had at the time, but it's different. It's not because it's like uh, their usual glaze with a uh, chocolate top, right? Oh, that, oh, with that's, the chocolate that's what, top. what I would talk about back oh. then. Yeah. But instead, oh, the nor- instead of the all around normal glaze, the all around glaze is actually chocolate flavored now. That's the difference. Oh wow! I never do you, you that know? Do time. you know they have like the sign like you're supposed to go when it's like lit up, and that means it's like hot and fresh. You know, otherwise yeah. you. Stay the fuck away. Yeah. <laughs> Never if go to Christmas if you're there, unless yeah. the sign's on. If you're there when the sign goes off, it plays a jingle. It's all it's really? the rhythm of the night. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. The Krispy Kreme near us, one. I've never Jesus. seen the hot and fresh sign ever turn off. It's always the on. The Krispy Kreme? Yeah, yeah. It's always yeah. on in the one in Burbank. It's always on. Yeah. It's always on. It's but never the off. Line, have you ever noticed the line is like 40 cars deep it's at the always any long line. That, yeah. You don't yeah. go you don't go drive through there. That's a that's a fucking that's a bush league yeah. fucking. Yeah, same like, for the in and out. You, you don't yeah. you don't you drive order, through the in and out. You You order uh for Krispy Kreme, you order on the app and then just go in and pick it up and it's already Oh, on the that's app. even crazier. Oh, oh yeah. okay. Yeah. That's and what we done. did for raising canes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For that. Yeah. Where we were just like Um and and for in and out is the dining room is never busy because everyone's yeah, yeah going through. that's yeah. true that's a good yeah you just, just go yeah. inside just get off, if you know what I mean what a and time to be alive <laughs> do you like in and out Scott hell yeah okay I good. don't know this guy's a San Francisco 49ers fan so I don't trust anything <laughs> right. he says <laughs> I, I think God they have in and out up there. I think they. I don't know if they do in the Bay Area. I know they've got them in Sacramento. I think oh, they, they do. I think, I think it's a West Coast thing. I think it's it's West yeah, Coast. They, no. well, if they have it in Las well, it was, Vegas, it, they have to have it in NorCal. Yeah, like that yeah. that sounds wrong to me. If they don't, Scott, are you from Nor- Northern California? Yes, Sacramento born. Ah, from the old race, sack town. He's a Cali boy. Yeah, the big yeah and you love San, San Francisco. He has uh, <laughs> many, many <laughs> yeah. Golden Gate Bridge things. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 San Francisco. I did. <laughs> I do. There is a bit of me still in San Francisco. Oh. If it didn't cost oh. a million dollars a month to live yeah. there, there would be part of me that would try to live there. But yeah. Live next to the Live next to the Federation headquarters. I mean, it's the rhythm of the night. Yeah. You don't leave your heart there, you lose it. Yeah, dude. Oh, Rice Roni. Well, yeah. well, if you ever wanted to <laughs> if you ever wanted a geo hop over to San Francisco yeah, without yeah, having to, to feel leave what it your feels home. like to get get subpar <laughs> internet in San Francisco. <laughs> Right. San Francisco, act- okay, stati- I've looked this up. San Francisco actually has amazing internet compared to Los Angeles because of the tech community. So like- But are you talking about San Francisco or the surrounding San Francisco area, the Bay Area? It's all of it. Yeah. Like it's, it's I all- I don't know if I believe that. Well, San believe Jose, it. Santa Clara is probably better than downtown San Francisco. <laughs> oh, uh, anyway. Well, where we live, internet's terrible drops out garbage. all the fucking time and that's why we have to try to improve our internet using express vpn 
Yes. Uh-huh. Oh, nice. Got it in there. Uh-huh. Cause, cause <laughs> don't mock me, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Keep doing that. <laughs> By the way, there is an in and out in San Francisco. There oh, is, right? excellent. Well, there F- fantastic. Thanks for letting us know. That actually helps me helps me feel a little bit better about in and outs proliferation. Because if it's in Las Vegas, it's got to be in NorCal. It's got to be. Yeah. There. But ExpressVPN. With ExpressVPN, you can be anywhere because it lets you geo hop to over 94 countries and 160 locations spanning 3,000 plus servers. They're adding more servers every day. I and mean, yeah. using a VPN is the safest way to browse the internet so that your ISP can't figure out what you're doing behind your back and selling that information to somebody else. And ExpressVPN is one of the best because we got, well, they got some of the fastest speeds for any VPN out there. Their security is top notch. They do regular audits at all times to make sure that their claim of no activity logs, no collect- connection logs are true. Yeah. And they've even had they, government- they do your taxes on time. <laughs> when they get and, out of uh, they they've even uh, had governments tried to probe them for information and they got nothing. They would not yeah, they would not admit to anything. Nothing. And if well, you sign admit, up, but like, there's just nothing there. They can't. Yeah. There's, a, there's also there's actually just nothing there. Yeah. Just turkeys. Yeah. Yep. Mm-hmm. Works with Netflix. By the way, works, by the way, streaming I, services. I want to say this real quick in between this read, guys. Don't get ExpressVPN right now. Wait a week or two. <laughs> I'm going to give you a good deal. Wait a week or two oh. and do it during Black Friday because there's going to be a great deal, I bet you, that weekend. Just use our code when you do it. Um, oh, and actually, I've learned. So the Black Friday deal is yeah, just our good. deal. No it's way. The same, yeah. So the deal we have is wow. basically Black Friday all year. So you can oh, just go God, to- dude. You can't yeah. say that, Marvin. Not in this current <laughs> political we, temperature, dude. <laughs> We blacken the entire year. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, misappropriation, man. Jeez. We're like uh, we're like Black Adam over here, dude. Um, <laughs> Let's not. Talk oh my about god! Black don't Adam. even get don't even get me started on that. <laughs> so I head on oh. over to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek, and you get that Black Friday deal whenever you want. Because if you sign up for twelve months, you get an extra three months for free. That makes the whole package 49% off. And if you're not sure about ExpressVPN and you want to, you know, just try it out, it's a 30 day money back guarantee. So you can get your money back anytime within that 30 days. So again, that's expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And if you sign up for 12 months, you get an extra three months for free. It's like that time, I forget what company, what car company was doing it, but they would let you test, test drive the car overnight. Like they what? would let you take it home. Yeah, it was. It was. It was yeah. There was a while. I want to say that? in the early aughts. Wow, that they were doing this. They were like, "Hey, just just if you want to test drive it, just take it home, bring it back tomorrow." That and then feels like then, the perfect that feels crime like car. A bad <laughs> idea. <laughs> I mean, what were really? they expecting to happen overnight? You, they well, people were fucking like, in sleep it, in the for car. Sure. Yeah, people are fucking. People are fucking in it, having parties. Uh, now yeah. people would be doing their Ubers over it. So yeah, like they, yeah. they, they would be doing their Uber. You know, people would try. The dealership didn't the tell you about that deal. Is that the the car sellers? They would go home with you, so they would have to stay at night. You'd have to set them up and <laughs> yeah. sleep on your couch. You have to make <laughs> yeah, them breakfast provide, the next day. Provide no, dinner I mean, and a room. You had to provide the accoutrements, and they would they would make the breakfast. That was part of it. <laughs> <Yeah, that's true. laughs> You have to provide the eggs and bakey. Yeah. And then they'll wakey, wakey. Yeah. And the okay. sweet loving. <laughs> and then they just drive the car back if you, if you didn't want to buy it. Nah, I'm good. Thanks yeah. for breakfast. And then they yeah. drive I remember back. this kind of reminds me of like when I was little, my dad would do like those hospital sleep tests, but like a strange man would come to our house and spend the night. <laughs> what? In the guest what? room. <laughs> I guess that's yeah. before they had the equipment you could take home, right? Yeah. Because like, it was much bulkier and back then, like, so they had to like bring it over. Yeah. yeah. So I would be like, I can't sleep. There's like a strange man in the house. <laughs> There's a stranger in the like, house watching my he, dad. Yeah, yeah, and he's like so there like all night. Home, it was like yeah. an at-home sleep study. Yeah, yeah but yeah. He, the guy okay. comes over and he goes into the guest room and he has his wires all go to my dad's room. And then he goes in the room and the light's on like all night. I'm like, what is he doing? I'm like, Probably should I not? Should I the eternal hello? sunshine of a spotless mind. Yeah. Yeah. He's and then try, in the morning, he's, he's, he's gone. He's erase vanished. Your dad's memory. Yeah. It was really weird. I, I I had the room right next door to the guest room where this man was. Uh-oh. And I was like, I can't sleep because I'm just Does like, your dad oh. remember who Jim Carrey is? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or Clementine? Does he, I don't know. Remember the name Does he remember the movie Titanic? <laughs> <laughs> yes, from taking me so many times, I'm sure. Okay. But do you guys know what I mean? Does anyone else have their parents? I, that I've done a sleep study and I just went to the place and fell asleep. But my last sleep oh. study, 
I just brought the thing, the stuff home, and did it. Yeah, at now home. they can I just think, like, you bring yeah, it home. Yeah, I think it's come a long way yeah. since you know the '90s, probably. Yeah. But I don't know what we were talking about. Like reminded me of that. Like someone coming home randomly and being in Express the room. Express VPN. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Especially if he had helped prevent Oh, that. and I did. Yeah. I actually did provide this guy snacks and water. I think that's why oh it like, got me. Oh, like, really I gave weird. him food and water, and like, we did give him food. I don't know if he you, wanted you it. Really but Jesus. We just gave it to him. You were just <laughs> giving people Bible bread and wine. <laughs> Bible bread. I was like, hey, yeah, what's your bread. name? Bible. That's like, what communion's <laughs> called, Bible bread. That's what they call yeah. uh, bolillos, the Mexican bolillos. Bible yeah. bread. Oh, okay, Bible bread. Bible bread? Didn't know okay, that. all right. Yeah. I mean, that's what I call it. Nobody else calls it that. But you I mean the little, the little wafer thing you get in church? No, the bolillos. Oh. The, well, they make what? tortas on it. <laughs> the bibliobios. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Well, listen. Oh, listen. man. Our second should... sponsor for this week. Oh, two dude? Oh, yeah, we have two. Extra.com. Extra sponsors. <laughs> Extra spelled E-K-S-T-E-R. Listen, if you're looking for a nice, compact, slim, cool looking wallet that has quick card access with the push of a button is super so high cool. quality, you know, environmentally friendly, you know, made with high quality materials, has RFID blocking plates, and has a tracker built in in case you ever lose your wallet. You can find it just like you do your 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 Apple tag thing. Same thing. That's extra.com. You head on over to extra.com. Look through all of their wallet selection. I personally have one of their wallets, the parliament. It just like the, <laughs> the, that's what it's called. It's the parliament wallet. And it's, uh, you know, it's the little, uh, leather wrapped one that also has a button where you can push all your cards out with a single push. So if you're interested in that type of thing, which I was, which is why I bought it over a year ago. But if you're interested, head on over to extra.com and use our offer code newbie, that's N-E-W-B-I-E, and that gets you up to 25% off site-wide, and I tested it, that stacks with any sales they have going on. It's really awesome. Nice. Yeah. So, so wait, again, how many cards wait till Black Friday. Wait till Black Friday. <laughs> yeah, wait till Black Friday, yes. actually. That might be worth it. So how many, uh, not to put you on the spot, but how many cards oh. does it hold? Because I was looking at it when you, when they were the new sponsor, sure. I checked them out for sure. Oh yeah. So <laughs> the, the holder, so if yeah. you get just the, um, the inside the RFID blocking plate part, that holds okay. up to six. Mine holds five because I have one really thick card, my Amazon oh boy. card. So that's really thick. Show off, dude. <laughs> this guy, oh, my name's girthy. <laughs> so that can hold. I think. I think that holds up to six. I mean, it might be like five okay. comfortably. So nice. And then there's other slots where you can put stuff in. And here's what I've been yeah. doing because comfortably because yeah. I don't like <laughs> it fits snugly. Because <laughs> I don't the like using of the cards. Um, it has. It has the. Um, Do they the, have a the, blanket? The, the slot where you can. It has power through Marvin, just power through. <laughs> it has a strap where you could put money on, right? But I don't right. like using that. So since I I don't have the you can you don't have to get the tracker, and I chose not yeah. to do it. The slot where they put the tracker in, you can just put your money in there instead. And I've yeah. nice. been doing it that okay. way. So it's a really nice little compact thing that has been really helpful for me because I, I I've actually literally once gone to the grocery store was juggling a bunch of stuff and managed to pay with one hand because I can do all of my wallet moves with one hand because it nice. all pops out with a button. We yeah. also fought all off of a guy who contest. was trying to scan your wallet for the, the RFID. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. that's true. We, yeah. We, we pushed we the vacation. button and the cards like flew at him. Just, <laughs> <laughs> like they're by saving Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Well, that part did saving your <laughs> saving your... <laughs> Someone Saving did graze me for- and try to steal my wallet slash uh, grab an RFID code off. Well, my how, how do you how up. do you know that they just didn't want to touch your butt, dude? <laughs> that's what that's what I said when Marvin made this yeah. claim. I was like, "Look, you're accusing an innocent guy." I know. But I know. No you're one's accusing innocent. an innocent butt toucher. Yeah. No, <laughs> he's just out there trying to grab butt, and you're over here blaming him. Do you think he's a criminal, dude? Yep. He, that's this what guy's I said. a law-abiding citizen grabbing butts. <laughs> mm-hmm. All right. Well, that's extra.com, E K S T E R.com. <laughs> and okay. use our offer code newbie, N E W B I E, for 25% off site wide. Nice. All right. You know what's time for, Ricardo? You know what's time for? The rhythm, the rhythm. <sighs> <laughs> the <name>? <laughs> <laughs> Ricardo, could you uh, please you tell me. us what happened in this episode? Oof. Crazy things happen in this episode. Well, um, well, first, I actually want to ask Scott, why did you choose this episode? Because good that's question, the one you wanted to come back for. Well, it's I went through the list of season four episodes, and I was I consciously wanted to make a choice of be like, well, that's an episode no everybody likes and knows. 
and there were like three or four of them in a row or like within one episode of another. And I was just like, well, let me, let me get off of that train and let me find something that's a little more random. And I've always liked the devil's do because I sort of like the resolution of it, even though it's very Star Trek tropey and it's, um, it's not like a huge, like who done it kind of a thing, but it's like, I just enjoyed the fact that again, and to your, to what you said about the, who watches the watchers and sort of the religious connotation and that kind of thing is, is an old society being beholden to this old law that has just been passed down through generations. And now all of a sudden these Mm. things are happening and it's such a coincidence, but there's a logical answer for it all. And once the curtain is raised, you sort of kind of those (laughs) kind of makes the people look like, Oh, well, we were sort of stupid for believing that, but you know, they're a, they're a old, an old, older civilization that wasn't you know that didn't know all the technology and all that but i that's sort of what draws me to it also audra is pretty hot which doesn't (laughs) doesn't hurt to look at the episode for 45 minutes you know i i i'm wondering now if if by this point it's is it safe to say that star trek at least tng is like anti-organized religion because that seems to kind of be their vibe like every episode um, that kind of possibly. brings up a godly figure sort of breaks it down to not being about like the religion it seems itself. Like they do, you know, they are definitely heavily critiquing it for sure. Yeah. Well, they're also no stranger to meeting actual godly beings with powers far beyond our understanding. That's true. Um, yeah. But they don't yeah. like, I guess sometimes they but equate they them to like a yeah, god. Yeah. They don't look to them as deities. They're just like, they're amazing. They're awesome. Sources they have crazy of powers power. that we can't explain. So more like right. Q. More they like don't that. think Q is a god. They just think Q is part of another species that's beyond. That's really them. annoying. Yeah. Or, the, or that, or that guy yeah. who lived on the planet by himself. The and yeah. was recreating his wife. Um, uh, yeah. Never Tim. becomes Tim. <laughs> yeah. 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 Tim. And also Tim and the other Tim. <laughs> <as well>. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it never Tim gets to the point where uh, the crew of the Enterprise decides it is a good idea to start worshiping anything, for instance. Yeah, never. They would never right. join Scientology in, on the Enterprise. <laughs> yeah. They like, that's yeah. stupid. Even if Xenu himself came aboard. Yeah. I forget, like, like, does, yeah. does TNG ever have any, like, anyone practicing a religion? Uh, Scott, I forget. If that ever happened, uh, you know, TNG. like on the crew, I don't yeah. think so. I was trying to think if, like, because like practicing a religion and believing in a god, are they, I guess, are sort of compartmentalized two different things in a way. Yeah, um, uh, but I don't, I don't think. Well, I, I guess Deep Space Nine gets heavily into that. Yes, that's what I was gonna say. It's like Deep Space Nine decides yeah. to really run with this, and like they go really hardcore into it, and they have, yeah, and they have it. They actually show both sides of it really well. Yes, um, yes, and so I guess, I guess sort of tangentially you would have to assume that you know they're within the same time frame so there would yeah. be people like that but i don't like say i don't know that they showed it um i don't i don't yeah i don't think they don't ever think really comes up outwardly like showed that, yeah. anything like that i mean they showed like ceremonies and stuff like that like you know for like funerals or religious not religious but like you know they have sort of like these and cling on like cultural they ceremonies do a lot of stuff a lot of cultural mm-hmm. ceremonies a lot of vulcan ceremonies yeah. a lot a lot of those kind of things but i guess it's Hanko's never really wedding sort of japanese wedding to- <laughs> yeah yeah so um no so i i think you're right. it's funny because when i think of like the star trek and religion like we even be way back in tos rod and mary was sort of like i don't want to have a religious have anybody kind of following any religious thing but then very early on in the series they're talking about like the christmas turkey is ready and oh yeah yeah mm, that's true yeah true. Yeah, yeah. it's like that's okay true. well that's I well, think Christmas that's sort is now of like an American I, holiday. <laughs> well, right. It's, yeah, Christmas is fairly yeah, yeah. secular these days. Yeah, 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 exactly. It's like at some point you sort of go, well, that's Christmas just, be, that's is, just is, it's a tradition, not religion. Yeah, Hallmark <laughs> kept it going. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned the original series because this script was actually a script that was part of Gene Roddenberry's original pitch for the original series, a very basic version of this that was uh, not a lady. It was an Ardra. It was the dude. And it was more straightforward and he kept that. And then he tried to get it going again for the, like the Star Trek phase two show that phase never two, happened. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And then finally they were like, let's try this again. And they decided to have a lot more fun with it. And they made Ardra instead of being like a serious devil is like yeah, a playful like just devil. Just a usual Satan. They just yeah. turned it into like a lady. <laughs> Yeah, she's just yeah. a sassy. She's, she's sassy like la- Lady Loki. She's Lady Loki. Yeah, yeah kind of essentially. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, like, yeah. What's a that? Bit. What's that? Um, I don't know. If, what's that Elizabeth Hurley movie with Brendan Fraser? Bedazzled. Oh, Bedazzled. Oh, yeah. Bedazzled. Yeah. Bedazzled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
this <laughs> asshole. It reminds me of that a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's, that movie, wow. that's a good I movie. I love that movie. Oh, I think right? there's a yeah. recent photo of Brendan Fraser and Elizabeth Hurley, like, you know, reuniting for a photo. Aww. Did they recreate the poster? Uh, that'd be great. I don't know if they recreated the poster, but the really really it seemed like they, were, yeah. they oh, seemed happy sweet. enough to, to, you know, have a photo uh, together. She's hot. I think many, probably all of them have a crush on her. That's an understatement. She's hot. Yeah, she's Female devils are sexy as shit. You know, I've, I've even had a dream where I was just her friend. Like we, were, we were just hang, we were just hanging out just, once. Just hanging Damn. out. Oh come on, that's not all that happens. The thing, the thing no, that's going I through my mind is it was just like we were hanging Damn. out. That's all that happened. Dan. I was like, yeah, no, the thing that's really nice. going She's through my mind person. is pervert. <laughs> Damn. I had the Elizabeth Hurley dream again. I had she was the my Elizabeth friend. Hurley dream again. <laughs> we went on comic a, books. <laughs> we went on a nice walk and got coffee yeah. and just talked about life. It was great. We got we got rhubarb but pie and tea. Had, <laughs> it had essentially that vibe. Like I swear to God, it was just Damn. us hanging out and being friends. Yeah, she if, was it's, like, if wow. it's like the Twin Peaks, uh, Monica Bellucci dream, it's just having coffee and that's it. And then Dan, it's okay but not if even you're not like an into women. It's totally fine, by the way. You can totally <laughs> it's the rhythm of the night, dude. <laughs> you know what's really that funny, is Sarah? So, you, that is uh, so interesting that you had that dream. I find that so fascinating <laughs> that you were just her friend. I, I have I have a strange story about Sarah's dad. So, uh, <laughs> oh my God, you had, you had a dirty dream about <laughs> right? this? Was when Sarah's, Sarah's dad was staying no, with just us, friends. Uh, she was, he was watching uh, a British drama with Elizabeth Hurley in it. And we oh, were watching I it. To, I like glance over her shoulder and we were watching it together for like five minutes. And she was like in it the whole time. Mm-hmm. And just out of nowhere, like before I walk away, he goes, damn, she's very attractive. <laughs> what? I don't know. That, I had no idea this happened. What? Wow. Oh my God. Was he like upset? <laughs> like, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> what? What movie was he watching? No, no, oh it was like God, a TV I... show. It was like a TV oh. show with Elizabeth Did he Hurley. Say, Damn it! I made I made a mistake. <laughs> what, what did he say? <laughs> Oh my god! I don't know where I was when this comment was made, but I was not no, around. This is back at our old uh, house. I, uh, is oh. a better descriptor. Oh my and god! He was upstairs in the dining room. Well, I guess my dad so. has a type. I guess. <laughs> I don't know. To be <laughs> fair, Elizabeth Hurley she, type. She, even yeah. though she like, can be many people's type. Yeah. yeah, and and you know she's like what almost sixty at this point, and you're like sixty nine. Wow. Really? I think. If I yeah, yeah. calculation, if my math is oh, right. No. Oh yeah, I, she's, gotta, uh, I gotta look this up. Yeah. Come on, sixty nine. No, she is like she oh, has many years under her belt, but she still looks amazing. She is fifty seven, no. and it's like I cannot believe that that yeah. is a fifty seven year old person. Like she's fifty seven. <laughs> wow. Yeah, okay. that's wow. it's very impressive. I mean, I mean, does she, what does she look like now? I mean that like like that like she was like she was that was only like a few years ago so I mean, I mean but maybe like surgery and stuff like that I don't know you know oh yeah. you, why are you why are you doing this to her <laughs> I, I mean, mean even even, even with, with like wow she looks really good for fifty seven wow okay all right yeah. Yeah, well, we'll take it well, maybe she played the devil once yeah. Yeah, well, this kind of reminded sure me. This devil in this episode kind of reminded me of that. I don't know why. Well, That's it, how we I mean, got there. I mean, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Yeah. Pretty. Was that before what? or after this? Oh, that's definitely like after was, this. Yeah, like she, okay. she played. She those beda- bedazzled with des- definitely came out way after. Oh, okay. like a ninety nine movie or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was almost two thousands when that. Okay, movie came so maybe out, they so. got inspiration, maybe a little bit from this. I don't know. Well, female devils are not a super unique concept. Like it's happened yeah. before. No, but so. like the changing forms and stuff, like the. Well, that's what the devil does in general. So. I don't know. I just I don't think I don't actually innately think about that when I think of the devil. To be honest, well, but. if you if you if we follow the, the good words of of a rapper that says the devil's a lie, <laughs> uh, who's the guy that sings that song? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Oh my actually. god, dude. I had a really now we have to no, do another Google search. Hang yeah, on, no. everyone. <laughs> Rick Ross. Damn Rick it. Ross. Rick Ross. Oh, okay, Rick okay, Ross. Okay, 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 okay. Chris the Cross devil <laughs> is a lie. He lived in my neighborhood. Rick. Rick the Ross. Devil? Yeah, my brother watched. Him. Yeah, he lived a couple well, houses Florida, down from me. The devil yeah. certainly lives with you. Yes. Yeah, my brother. My brother used to wash his cars for money. Oh, nice. Yeah, wow. he's a really nice guy. He lived a couple houses down from me. Yep. Oh yeah. Did you own, didn't you like own his autobiography or? I do, yeah, and he talks about living in my neighborhood. I yeah, know, which is really funny. Talk he about talks it. about he said your that that was his first that was his first home that he bought. Yeah, I know, yeah, yeah, and I'm like, yeah. wow, yeah, I learned a lot. My mom was his nurse, and he used to like 
let us wash his cars and look let at us, all his th- stuff. That sounds weird and, to say. Let well, us he wash would, his no, cars. No, he would. He would. Pay, he would pay. It. He would pay like really well. He would be like, like oh yeah, like, come wash the cars and stuff. I'm gonna let you guys wash my car today. No, no, no. he was super nice. I mean, he would let give you us paint my a fence, ton Huckleberry of money. Finn. As a person who, as a person I mean, who like, really likes the funniest thing in the world, as a person who really likes cars. I would never let kids wash cars. Ever. <laughs> well, he was doing <laughs> it to be nice. I he would give let, like a couple hundred dollars, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was just, you know, trying to be nice to the neighborhood kids, aka my brother, you know, and be yeah. like, oh, come wash my car, come, you know, hang out and just look at all the kids, you know. Obviously, he was, he stood out in the neighborhood. Like, we were like, who's this guy? A rapper moves into your suburban neighborhood yeah it's, it is like, funny what? to think that like he's yeah. like a prolific <laughs> rapper this? and you yeah. listen to like no it was a very, very like like family oriented community, which is <laughs> yeah. really interesting <laughs> yeah. yeah and we're like okay um maybe sure. you wanted to raise a kid there i mean that's very possible uh, yeah yeah know. this is yeah well. yeah i may be a little inebriated story. i don't know if i'm inebriated or not but have we started talking about the episode did I get lost? <laughs> no, I don't think in so. a way, not, in a way, yeah. no. <laughs> okay. no. as, as we got as far okay. as asking Scott why he picked. This <laughs> oh episode. my god! Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the episode starts off, and uh, they're watching a uh, play. Picard is, and stupid Data is overacting, being fucking stupid. <laughs> Picard and loves it. He thinks his acting's amazing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I've never seen th- this is the best acting I've ever seen. But you have to take take you have to take into consideration that he probably hasn't seen really good acting in a while because he's been a mm. captain. You know, like you get sucked into something and you don't have time to do anything fun for a while. Well, it's also possible in this universe, Picard is a bad actor. It, it's we're not we can't conflate Patrick Stewart with Picard. Well, nobody's well, a not actor only that. This, he may also be you know <laughs> trying to be very encouraging of Data's efforts as well. That's also true. Yeah. 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 Well, he wouldn't. He would never. He can't hurt Data's feelings though. So he could no, just he, tell he could Data. Say, yeah. Yeah. He, he, he. I think Data would be like. Uh, it, he, he would be uh, excited about the honesty uh, if Picard <laughs> told him, "Man, that is fucking horrible. Never do that again." Yeah, you're um, a cartoon character. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. But he's, he's playing Scrooge. And he does the uh, does a, a play, and it's 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 fun and everything. But does this I don't tie know, into the I, episode to do with in some way? Yeah, that's what I, mean, I was asking. Kind of I was like, like, why is this here? Like, uh, like it, it being a, a sham ghost. Like they're trying to find like the. But I would have preferred if it was a, a Sherlock episode where like he was playing Sherlock. Oh, and he, in and the he beginning. discovered. Mm, yeah, I yeah, mean, then, Scott, do you know why? Like, is there the main, any? Like, I think what the is main the relation tie-in? is it's mostly because they use it as a way to allude to how fear is used as a tool to motivate yeah. people. Like yeah. fear okay. of the unknown. Fear of. But fear, fear is the, the worst tool to motivate people. It it it's. <laughs> it doesn't yeah. work. It doesn't work very well. Huh. There is Sounds a line like later on. Yeah, there's a line later on in the episode where they reference the Christmas Carol analogy. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. And it is, and it is to that of bringing of of the analogy of of the fear of just mm-hmm. what you just said. You know? Huh. Okay. So maybe that's the tie-in. I yeah, guess. it's it's it's, it's kind of tenuous, but well, yeah, they should have, they should have had the episode w- uh, end with like uh, Ardra running through the streets, being like, "Everyone, Merry <laughs> Christmas!" Yeah, yeah. Merry Tiny Christmas. Tim, I'm gonna get you a big screen <laughs> TV. <Yeah. laughs> um, so Merry yeah, Christmas, so your wonderful savings alone. <laughs> <laughs> so they get a they they get called uh, by the scientists, and they're like, "Hey, these people are gonna kill us. These goddamn fucking they're they're storming." the capital of these idiots <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna burn us we, kind of that's, that's almost we, exactly it's, what's it's, happening it's, yeah. almost, it's very sadly it's very close and they're like we just have we're, we're, we're just we're, we're just the messengers we, 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 we do you recognize <laughs> wrong. do you recognize this ed asner looking guy yeah who is he who is he he's paul lambert he was also the holophoner instructor from when the bell breaks oh <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's pronounced Lambert. I think he's, I think he's, uh, I think he's French. Play me. Um, pl- pl- now no, play no, a happy I'm on song. the, I'm <laughs> on the, wait, <laughs> wait, is he, is he related to, um, um, Christopher Lambert? Oh no, no. I don't think so. No. Well, no. on Chateau Picard, he's Paul Lambert. <laughs> and Lambert. <laughs> Lam- yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. Lambert Pauly, and Pauly Lambert. Lambert. <laughs> Lambert. <laughs> Lambert. Yeah. Paul Paul Lambert. And then and then move your mouth around Paul, as you say. It. So L- Lambert uh shows up and he's like, Hey, these goddamn fucking idiots, uh, they think the world's gonna end and they wanna they wanna like like it's just they wanna blow shit up. It's kinda like 
it's weird how this is how what's playing out because they're like basically the whole population is like oh the world's ending let's fucking riot and loot like the second coming of this this ghoul you know this mm-hmm. sexy ghoul is coming back <laughs> and how they repent is is the other way around they're like we're gonna go really crazy we're gonna be fucking the streets we're gonna be ridden naked starting yeah, fires that's definitely one of the questions i had like why would they take federation scientists as hostages for, like for what purpose because they're going crazy like scared. they're scared but what are their demands yeah. for the hostages release especially yeah. to the to, to, to the god figure that they need to deal with like the devil figure like hey we want our we want our planet back or we'll kill these scientists it's like okay <laughs> so yeah so, like, yeah, <laughs> yeah that certainly wasn't the plan or at least i'm pretty yeah, sure yeah, they, they didn't really gonna try that they also, didn't even expressly say you, you can have them if you give us our planet back you can have these in exchange or something yeah but having just like eight people instead of an entire planet <laughs> yeah yeah also when she was going to take over was what was gonna change Exactly. Uh, well, she I was going to have a planet full of slaves. She was going to make iPhones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that what she was going to do? Is she was going to like? I think she, she's going to have slave labor. resources. Okay. Yeah. We're now okay. going to call the planet Foxconn too. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> um. Oh, they're going to put uh, nets around the planet. <laughs> <laughs> around the planet. <laughs> yeah. God damn it, dude. God no. Uh, um. So so Picard's like, all right, we'll, we'll we'll save you, and then they only save that one dude. Who came on screen? That's fucked up. Like, yeah, they're just not the like guy. save everybody yeah. in the room. No, they're like just just the bushy haired guy with that. That's who looks unkempt. Just bring him, <laughs> up. but no one else. And it's like, oh my god, dude. Oh fuck, dude. Why why are you saving this dude? Either save everybody or don't save anybody. And imagine like like the rest of the the scientists are like, oh my god, uh, Professor Bushy Hair. Uh, <laughs> he's been saved. Uh, we're next. You know, like, <laughs> and then like they just get beaten to death. Oh, yeah, they, they gotta save somebody. They, they say the one guy. It's fine. I think it's yeah. fine. Say that one guy. Um, and then and then so so uh, they go and they they talk to the to this, this scientist and they're like, hey, these fucking idiots down there, they're burning everything. They're I don't they're, I don't know what their plan is. And really, truthfully, there's you don't understand the stupid plan that these stupid people have. Like they're very dumb. Even the guy who's in charge is like. Well, we a deal's a deal, and but he's like he doesn't try to fight it or anything. He's like, ah, I guess my ancestors signed a contract, and but also like every contract has a loophole. Like, why couldn't they have been like, well, uh, we we're kind of advanced in technology. Why don't we um, why don't we just leave the planet, and then they they well, can't come he, and claim. You know what I mean? They could just also claim like, hey, we weren't the ones who signed that. Those are our ancestors. Yeah. We're different people yeah. now. So yeah. go away. We didn't even believe in you, and then and then just forget like. It's kind of like just remember yesterday. You're you yeah. <laughs> in our script. They could have. They could have fought her. <laughs> they could have fought her like like the they fought the it clown by just insulting it. <laughs> you, you, <laughs> you fucking fat clown. <laughs> he's like, oh, no, I'm not afraid of you. I'm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, um, she's just it essentially. If yeah. They just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she's a she's Anyways. a David Blaine it. Um, <laughs> and so they being down there, and he's like, "What the fuck's going on down here, guys?" And he's like, guys, and he's like, he's like, Captain, we need to deal with these, with this, with this ghoul, sexy ghoul. And she's come to, you know, get paid uh, with, with all these subjects. And it's, it's a weird fucking episode. It's a weird fucking episode, but I like how it kind of like, they figure it out. I like the Sherlock Holmes aspect of it. I like the, the detective sure. uh, figuring it is, out. It is fun in the initial yeah. moment where they're like, well, why are they freaking out? Because uh, they said the devil's going to return. And Picard goes, that's not going to happen. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. Just tell everyone the yeah. devil's not coming. And then she shows up and he's like, oh. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're like, so that's a- Picard's like, Rush Limbaugh's been dead for years. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, God damn it, dude. <laughs> I'm going to get more fucking mail about that. Um, so... Um, they they go down. And he's like, ah, it's a stupid thing. And then and then fucking she shows up, and she kind of looks a little bit like uh, Sigourney Weaver in in um mm-hmm. in Ghostbusters. She's got that vibe yeah. going mm-hmm, mm-hmm. a little bit, yeah. yeah. Right, the frizzy hair and the wind blowing. I guess it could, yeah. gives away the Zool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's wearing Zoolish clothes. Yeah, kind yeah. of Zooly. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't, I mean, I'm going to spoil it because this is, this is oh, a yeah. spoiler yeah. episode. Uh, I mean, podcast, but so you find out later that it's all a ruse. Like she's, she's, it's all fucking, 
She's a flim flam artist, you know? She's like, <laughs> she's like Danny Ocean. Oh my God. That was my best. Had anybody ever heard that before? A flim flam artist? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In fact, yeah. I remember. I've never heard that. that. Picard she's the music actually, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Picard actually uses the word flim flam before. He uses it in, in hide and cue. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He calls it was in Q, right? Flim flam. Yeah. 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 So I'm going to start Q using that. Flim flam artist. I mean, yeah. it's, an, it's an old term. It's like you use it in oh. Paper Moon. It's like an old. <laughs> it's like a confidence. A confidence man, a uh, flim flam, a man. It's a grifter. <laughs> grifter. I it's guess a term as old as the salesman. We're yeah, not that old either, well. Sarah. God damn it, calling us old people. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go have my, my rhubarb pie. It's <laughs> <laughs> too late for me. <laughs> you flim flam. Um, I'm going to start calling people that at work. You're a yeah. flim flam artist. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to go flim flam doing. in the bathroom. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Could anyone else go for a sarsaparilla right about now? I can go for a flim flam. You know what I can go for right now? A cherry coke, an old timey cherry coke, dude. Ooh, Ooh cherry coke's good. Vanilla it's coke. Tiny. It's pretty... Do you remember vanilla coke? Still That's made old today. Oh, yeah. I don't like vanilla. Do you remember? It's still around. Vanilla coke is still. Or a thing. diet coke with lime. Yeah. That that was that, really big back in the day. I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah. Do they still make that Diet Coke with lime? Do you remember no. that? I don't think they manufacture it for sale anymore, but yeah. That you was can a add big it. deal. I'm sure Back in the early those... 2000s, every party had Diet Coke yeah. with lime. I'm, sh- I'm sure one yeah, of those can, like yeah. like uh, Coke remix machines you can... No, those, those, yeah, those are called AMC, Coke you can freestyle sure. machines. Yeah. 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 And they fucking <laughs> suck. I hate them. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love it. I love it, dude. You can really <laughs> make anything, dude. It's like it's like a wet dream machine. You're like, what kind of, what kind of <laughs> they're just a nightmare when there's a crowd because there's only one yeah. fucking spout yeah. and, yeah. and well, a touch screen well, for people to get confused with. Here's the thing, dude, is <laughs> I've said it once, I'll say it again, and I'll say it another time because people won't listen to me. God, people, I love being humans, a turtle. Humans are very fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I thought I when when the pandemic started, I thought this is fucking great, dude. I've been dreaming about this. We're gonna wipe <laughs> out half the population and it's gonna be amazing. Hopefully the dumb will die. <laughs> and guess what? They didn't fucking die, dude. They're like cockroaches, dude. And mm-hmm. now they're back in theaters, not knowing how to do things. They're the same people that their cell phones go off during the movie, like they like it's nineteen eighty one and they just got a cell phone. <laughs> and it's like, mm-hmm. oh, oh my yeah. god. I just got oh this. My sorry, god. I'm sorry. Oh it's my like, god. no, dude, cell phones have been around for 40 fucking years, dude. <laughs> Silence the goddamn phone, you idiot. Silence the phone. Say, I will say the worst thing about the freestyle machines to me is that they're very anti-consumer inherently because you can program them, and a lot of restaurants have been doing this, to only work with the cup you receive at the store mm. that you are using. What? It. I've never seen that happen. That's, that's a Disney thing. It actually has a little scanner that actually checks the cup and if the I've cup never encountered that but yeah, yeah they're so starting to roll that out more dealer. and more yeah they're doing that AMC, more AMC AMC does not do that get your get your D- DJ cups at AMC <laughs> or bring your own cuz they don't then again, I, think, I might just be a, a a good little consumer and always use the cup I'm given and <laughs> not try true. to sneak other comp- competing cups into the freestyle machine we used to when we were in, in in college and we would go to the movies we would bring our own you know those cups that you could just extend oh, oh sure yeah. oh yeah we would just yeah, yeah. Boop, 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 and just get soda and just bring it on in dude it's beautiful yeah. dude Smart. save ten dollars on a soda um and look sometimes i want to drink a uh, baja blast at home and i want to take a bunch of it home you know <laughs> <laughs> I don't um, want. I don't. <laughs> There's so no this, other place to get Baja Blast. <laughs> so there are cool. recipes out there to emulate the flavor at home using Powerade and stuff. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, dude, get blasted at home, dude. Um, yeah, man. <laughs> so this ghoul uh, with crazy eyebrows, she's like, "Hey, the devil's come to." Goddamn cat! What are you doing, dude? Get the fuck down. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> There's nothing in there for you. Kitty. Oh, fuck, dude. Hold on. Let me get anything at her. This is all dude. staying in, by the way. Uh, <laughs> sorry. The, I, I just oh, got a receiver, and, and she's trying to get in there. Um, There's nothing in the receiver. Just no. <laughs> yeah, the files are in the computer. Um, so, <laughs> so she's like, hey, I'm here. I'm an, I need my planet. I need my, my, my slave labor. I need to build iPhones. The new iPhone 15 mm-hmm. is coming out, and I need to build a runtime. <laughs> and how many other planets does she fuck around with, dude, like this, dude? Yeah, and that she but hasn't gotten caught. She yeah. is. She's exactly like David Copperfield. 
But instead of <laughs> groping women, this lady is just taking <laughs> planets. Um, and I mean, she uh, could be groping people because she was really into Picard. She was like, hey, yeah, baby. That's, yeah. that's, that's the weird B plot of this episode is that she wants Picard yeah. as, as her so sex bad. prize. And then, <laughs> yeah, and that's her just getting greedy. She could have gotten away with her plan yeah. if she just kept Picard and like the, the crew the, and the Enterprise itself out of it. Yeah, if she just made it so like no, this is between me and the planet, and the planet was like, yeah, we're 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 fine, just go. Yeah, yeah, we're on the contract, and that would have been enough. I'm pretty yeah. sure then Picard would have been like, well, I'm going to say that selectively Prime Directive applies here, and let's get out of here, and then the episode would be yeah. over. <laughs> uh, but she came in. She came in with fucking receipts and everything. But now I'm not sure. They don't explain this. But is she the original person that made the deal, or no. is she the ancestor? Right? She's just like she comes from a long line of flimflammers, right? I don't. I don't think she's actually. Wait, oh, so she. My understanding was I thought this was a long con. Like she actually made the deal, and then like, oh, or did she just find out that the think, deal was made? And this, this you think this lady's two hundred years old? I don't know. She turned into she, a muppet. No, she be thousands years old know. because it was yeah, like no, a, that was, was all that was all CGI. They, they proved <laughs> they proved that it was all. I don't know. I don't know how old aliens are. I don't know what she is. Well, they, they implied that she, she studied they, their their lore yeah. and their texts oh. and stuff. So it was like she was an opportunist. So who, she's yeah. like the Jesus and the toast for us. Like, oh, you know, like they've come back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you know, like she's seizing on a existing thing and being like oh i'm i'm the devil haha <laughs> you know like it's well, me. yeah it's, it's me like she's coming in after the fact and being like yeah like, I'm totally it wasn't that guy. her plan from the start like she didn't she just no, she wasn't the original text. deal yeah, yeah. yeah okay she just gotcha. discovered she, the lore and used she, it to her advantage he, here's yeah. what she resembles most she's like mark zuckerberg like currently like he's like <laughs> i've read everybody's fucking facebook's I read every and they everyone wants virtual reality, but I'm literally ten years late to this party, and everyone's off <laughs> of Facebook now. <laughs> That's exactly what's happening here. Got she it. comes that in makes sense. and she's like, she's like, I've read all your messages, all I've read all your sexts, and I'm going to take this planet over. And all people want, all people have been waiting for, is for me to come back or this entity to come back and collect and be like, oh, thank God we're saved. I do have a how question. Cool, how cool I do would it be? Have a question. Go ahead, I'll answer it. <laughs> um, maybe Scott answer. or somebody can help me. Like, oh boy, why? That's... <laughs> why does is it is it odd to anybody that that like Picard automatically suspects that she's like a flim flam artist? Like, how does she? Like, how did he arrive at that? Like, I kind well, of. I think, I, I like, think Picard why, is just. Uh, I think like, he's inherently Picard skeptical. Does, Picard doesn't believe in anything. Yeah. He believes in science. I know, but like, couldn't yeah. he? I don't know. I'm. I. I just. I'm so suspicious how he like got it right. Like right well, away. Well, the story he's given at the at the beginning from the scientists, like, well, she's the devil, and he's yeah. like, there's no such fucking thing. Like yeah. that's stupid. And so he's that's where science. he starts. He would immediately he anything mystical or anything he doesn't believe it. He's like, ah, fucking fake. But then how do you yeah. explain like Q? Or I mean, this is a this is a universe in which the mystical well, does exist. Yeah, but, but he doesn't believe no, Q is no, a deity mystical, either. He would, it, he would he would he yeah. would. Call out Q in the same way. He'd say, "No, Q is just a shyster. He's just he's Which just." He has called him know, that. Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. literally. Yeah. Called, he's also called Q a flim flam artist. So yeah, <laughs> he would tell he would tell the people of this planet, "No, you're not beholden to Q's ideologies or whatever." You're, he has you're a lot of power, people. but you shouldn't trust him. Like Even he's an asshole. Q yeah. is powerful. <laughs> I mean, yeah, she yeah. is yes. like a real flim flam artist, but Q does have powers. Yeah, yes. he has powers, but but too. he's also a flim flam artist. I mean, okay, all so the cues both. are. Yeah. <laughs> he's, yeah. he's, we got proof by but, watching but, the other one step into our reality, and he also yeah. seemed like a gigantic asshole. Yeah, <laughs> they're all yeah, they're like, all Loki's. They're all Loki variants. Yeah. Okay, um, I guess that makes sense. They're all no, interpretive but I mean, dancing their way the into captain, our reality. <laughs> the captain <laughs> is always uh, reluctant to accept anything mystical, and I don't think there's anything mystical in this universe. I don't think. Yeah. There's anything supernatural like ghosts, or mystical. Ghosts don't exist in this world. No, every every ghost they've encountered has been an alien force or a power surge. Yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, or they. I or, mean, or they must. Computer. I mean, aliens. I mean, aliens <laughs> or exist. Code is, that, is that is <laughs> <Yeah, but laughs> that mystical? That, it was that's not mystical. Ghost, that's science. This ghost that's is science. an OSHA violation. <laughs> well, if you transfer it into if you transfer it into today's beliefs, that would be categorized under paranormal. 
Aliens. Go, go, aliens? No. If you believe Par- paranormal. Well, well, I don't know. You talk to Marvin and he seems to think that aliens aren't a, a thing. So alien, not, well, no, no, again, you, aliens you, are science. You, you always <laughs> miss miss uh, the, the explain what I'm what I always say. I'm not saying that the possibility isn't there. What I am saying is they would probably regard us as ants and not even want yes. to interact with us. Oh, which I'm not. Right. That's not which the is argument what I'm, I'm saying. N- no, no, I'm no, just but, saying, do they exist or not? That's it. No, I'm not no, saying, no. To, have they visited us? No. I'm just saying, I, are they I there stand, or not? I stand steadfast behind that statement that Marvin has. That they do exist, but they want shit to do with us because okay. we're stupid. Uh, okay. and okay. We're the thing is nice. also p- yeah. the I reason I that. and I'm actually of the of the mind that like there is no proof on our end currently that they exist. Therefore, I think it is like like a step too far to say yes, they are definitely there. Okay, see, Marvin's saying that. something different. Oh, see, that's that's I don't believe in that, Marvin. I believe <laughs> you're a flim flam artist. <laughs> uh, here's the thing. I think I think it's very I think it's very arrogant to say we're the most advanced species in the universe. Yeah, I yeah, know. We're the only I we're the only species no, no. in the universe. No, I don't. I, I don't. I think there's probabilities that is very unlikely that we are. But we I want to hear Scott's point of view. The proof, so that's all. Do I'm you believe saying. in aliens? Yes or no? Do, what's your definition of aliens? First, um, what do you okay, what do you believe well, when you say do I believe I'm, in aliens? What do you mm-hmm. mean? Have aliens been to Earth? No. No, no, do, no. Do I'm I believe not, that's that not there's the life? The do I believe is, that there's other life? Well, we're an alien then. Is Elvis so, an alien? Is yes. just what she's asking. Well, we should call them star <laughs> beings because yes. aliens actually derogatory. So, so star being. Yeah, there you go. Um I, we're all star stuff. I yeah, I yeah, we're all I definitely starstruck. believe that there's life somewhere else out in the universe. I don't believe right. that we're, we're the, only the only ones. sentient living thing. Yeah. Okay. Um cool. And then to to draw back and this might I don't know, Sarah, you might not agree with me on this, but I don't I also don't believe in paranormal things. Mm-hmm. So for me, so something like with the Audra thing, like why would they believe in that? Someone like Picard who wouldn't necessarily believe in the paranormal stuff. He'd be going well, like, it's like, it's either a super coincidence that like there's an earthquake and people are having visions at the same time. Now this is obviously explained at the end of the episode, what's actually yeah. going on. But for Picard, when he gets the initial information, he's like going, his, his mind is for like someone like me, it would be like, well, if I had an earthquake and somebody said they saw visions, I would be like, all right, well, what were you smoking? <laughs> or, you know, or was it, was there a breeze yeah. that hit, you know, you, you were half awake and half asleep and it moved a drape and you thought you saw your aunt that had died or 10 years ago. Or t- you know, people, people <laughs> like these kinds mis- of things. Remember and uh, mis explain things like constantly. Mm-hmm. So I tell Marvin this all the time. You, you're, you're, and I, you know. I tell Marvin this all the time. And I'm going to tell all of you guys when I am on the other side, I will tell you I told you so. Well, you won't because we don't I'll believe and we won't see you. Well, <laughs> if I if I outlive you guys, knock on. I mean, I don't know. Maybe we'll all go together. I'm not sure. But if one you, of the, you I think will come it's back, a, a comet and, and we'll all go together. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I, I get. I, get I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Uh, but I will come back to your house, Scott, right here where I'm looking at you, and I will say, "Here I am." In a ghost form, so now you can believe, and, he and that's how you'll believe. <laughs> and, um, and I'll be it. like, I must have ate like a weird like sausage or something because <laughs> so you're like, why is Sarah yeah. standing in my living room right yeah. now? <laughs> or like some wire got crossed in my brain that's making no. me think of Sarah. And I'm gonna like, say, I saw and, it. and I'm gonna respond and say, no, you are not high. You did not eat a bad sausage. I'm really here. Oh, that's what a bad sausage well, that, would say. And that's, yeah, that's, that's, that's 100% that's right. going to convince me that that's what's happening because yeah. why else would I be thinking that I yeah. didn't have a bad sausage if that's yeah. not what's happening? Yeah. Because I'm telling you way. ahead of time. I'm telling yeah. you ahead of time. That's my plan. Yeah. Oh, oh, is this? Oh, is it? Yes. Oh, I've got to write this down then. If that's Sarah comes at me about a bad sausage, I'm fucked. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is Sarah, Sarah going to get out a notepad as a ghost? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> The only way way it would work is if, because you are incepting the idea into Scott now, so Mm -hmm. he could then easily go, oh, it's just a thing. (laughs) So what you need to do is to hide an object somewhere on Earth. No, I know. Yeah. (laughs) You know what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to agree upon some really random symbol, and then no, 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 no one. No, that's this is the you need a totem. Yeah, no one else can know about it. (laughs) That's what I'm saying. (laughs) So you, well, we can't all agree on something. It has to be something only you know. 
Yeah. And you hide um, it somewhere on Earth. <laughs> all right. I, I will. I, so, well, I know it's going to be a cat, so it's not a surprise. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> a couple of things. Uh, I'll one come back as your cat. Is right. that it's not, Sarah, it's not going to work if you come back and you go, buy Oscar Mayer products. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, he'll know he ate a bad sausage then. Um, <laughs> but no, um, so. Harry Houdini, here's the thing, is that I don't believe in, I don't believe in the supernatural, um, but I do believe in energy. Not mm. not like bullshit energy, like mm-hmm. fucking crystals and shit. I think that's a bullshit thing. Right. <laughs> but I think, uh, like meaning like you are made of energy. So yeah. some, when you die, your energy is to go somewhere. So it just goes into the ether. But while you die, it goes, it could be stuck here in the oz- under the ozone layer for a while. And things, you know, a light bulb might flicker or something. But that's it. But Houdini also had that question. He was obsessed with the afterlife. And so he made a pact with his wife and he gave her a, like a passcode. Like if I make mm-hmm. contact, I will do this. Have a seance every year on my birthday and I'll try to contact you. And in fact, when I was a child, they would air those seances on Houdini's birthday on TV. Oh shit. Mm. What? Yeah. I vaguely remember uh, that. Yeah. 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 And I mean, they did it up to like, I mean, people started losing interest because they're like, well, nothing's happening. Dude, you could do, you just do this every fucking year. Nothing happens. (laughs) Um, But for a while, for like at least a good six years, I remember every fucking, every year my dad and I would fucking turn it on because my dad was obsessed with magic. Wait, Houdini died Uh, that recently? Oh. No, 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 no. It, It just just like like that, it she, she kept them going for a very long time. Oh, so okay. What would, I thought Houdini would somehow die. <laughs> like, no, 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 no. <laughs> so and, what and would also, happen this during was, these This was in the seances. late 80s. Late, late oh, okay, 80s. Okay, okay. I don't remember. I mean, I was, I was real young, but I remember like they would televise them and you would watch them and like they would try to, and I think they, they would they would wrap it into like a magic show as well. Like it would be like a an hour long thing where it would be like Houdini seance, but also there's Lance Burton was going to show up and do some fucking tricks or something. Mm. There's fireworks. And- yeah, there's fireworks and <laughs> shit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for a while, like magic was a big spectacle that they televised. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I used to watch a yeah. ton of magic stuff. Yeah, David Copperfield would like, like air like his specials and it would, it would be insane. Yeah. Uh, special uh, the Statue of Liberty. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, he stole it. Or um, what's it his really name? Is it David David Blaine? Is <laughs> David, it David Blaine, Blaine is David Blaine came afterward, and he yeah, was more like Blaine. a street magic guy. Yeah, yeah. He kind of was came in too late, honestly. So now he, he's he's more yeah. of like the, the event magician. Yeah, no, and, uh, but, Chris oh, Angel oh. came too late. Oh, Chris Angel, Chris Angel that's yeah. Mind freak. No, no, he came. No, uh, Mind freak, freak actually was successful, so he actually came Mind in at the right time. Chris David Angel Blaine was not on TV. David Blaine actually took some time, so. So well, here's he only the thing. did every so he did he like did he did the odd special and those were successful when they the aired. specials yeah he used to have Chris, like a he had a show but I forget if David Blaine's it's show it's called Chris Angels Angels <laughs> it was lingerie Chris's Angels. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um so I have a I have a password for for Michelle. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Um, so you're clearly you're a paranormal guy. I mean, this is No, no, stuff. I'm just saying like, if, if it if it if it if it's true then, it then I'll, we'll have a password. Well, that's what exa- that's exactly that's exactly what I'm telling Marvin. I, I want to have a passcode. Mystical. I don't have a I don't believe anything you mystical. Have, you could have a passcode. Go ahead. <laughs> I will. I will have a passcode. Just don't um, say it on <laughs> just don't say it on, you know, this podcast don't sit here. Then don't tell anyone the passcode. Code. Yeah, don't. Yeah. And yeah. anyone who dies can convince Marvin that they're Sarah. Yeah. 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 Also, you I can't, pass your can't passcode you. can't be your cat's name. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. which mine is it? Uh, and so I think <laughs> that he questions everything. It's like me. Like, I don't believe in any religion. So I question everything that they, they say is like religious. I'm like, I'll, I'll not only question, not, not only question it, but I'll go against it. Like, if you say, oh, this is a religious thing that people are religious. I was like, well, then I'm against it. No matter what it is. <laughs> Even if it's a good idea, I was like, I'm against yeah. it. Yeah. I still yeah. question your motives. <laughs> yeah. 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 I do think one thing worth pointing out about Picard's in, uh, like uh, initial skepticism is because the setup is that of a being who is about to enslave an entire, like, r- like entire planet yeah. and it yes. sounds like someone Super is like up. pulling one over on somebody you yeah. know like there's a yeah. contract involved like it it, it seems shady he's, from he's the also, get-go because also, of the deal yeah, yeah. he's also yeah. fighting on their behalf so he wants it to not Parlay. be real yeah and also he does explain that everything she has done so far i can think of an explanation for that how that happened right now like yeah. that right. could be a hologram yeah. that's a transporter and, that's yep, a tractor yeah, yeah, yeah. beam like you know it's not like that amazing like 
what she's doing. And by the end of the show, they 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 do break it down. That like they're like every single little thing where there were, it was a, the earthquakes. Like you can yeah, call literal magician tricks. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> was it Penn and, Penn and Teller are amazing too. I love. Penn yeah, they're and in Teller. the show too. Yeah, yeah. yeah they, um, <laughs> they, they bring up Penn and Teller at the end, and they're like, yeah, he's like so. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> oh, wait, like, like, remember, like, uh, the show Penn and Teller's Bullshit? I yeah. loved that show. Or, I love that show. show. Or the Magician Secrets Fox specials where yeah. they would have the yeah. Mass Magician. Yeah, the show. Mass Magician. Yeah, yeah that yeah, guy fucks, yeah, yeah. dude. Um, <laughs> so that's what this was at the end. Picard's like, yeah. all right, this is the episode where I'm going to show you how the magic's done. He just yeah. yells, this is bullshit. Yeah. 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 yeah he's, like, uh, he's like, well, they have that other like, show, like, Fool Us. Yeah, where yeah, they have the magicians. Yeah. yeah, there's also that movie "Fools Rush In" with Salma Hayek. Um, and so, very relevant. <laughs> Why is that? Very good. Very so good. anyway, uh, look, we, I don't want to go too long because we're already an hour in and we haven't really talked about this episode. But, oh, but she basically pulls a lot of pranks on Picard too on on the Enterprise. Like she beams up and like mm-hmm. you can tell Picard's annoyed, but everything has an explanation. And and I love I love how they just Sherlock Holmes the shit out of it. And like I like that it's Jordy and it's the it's it, he basically has to like reverse engineer every trick she does, and mm-hmm. then he could he could replicate it. He's like, oh, this is how she's doing it. So like I feel like the writing's a little sloppy though because like she seems to be getting yeah. past the Enterprise's shields to do these I know, things still. I know. Yeah, and I know. she could just show that. So her mind is shit to the Romulans and make all the money she wants. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And her mind was, is just conveniently yeah. focused enough to fool Deanna as well. Yeah, really? that's true. Right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Well, well, she she maybe here's here's my crazy theory is that it's triplets. Mm. <laughs> and you can't you can't well, like one of them's really good at at a certain thing. It's all like a show. It's it's well, all as like a triplet. A, what do you mean? It's like it's like well, you're not really off the prestige. Yeah, yeah, the prestige. <laughs> it's the prestige, but with triplets. And one of them's really good at this, <laughs> and one of them's good at that, and then they all do different types of tricks. And one of them, and one of them ends up in the tank. Deanna. Yeah, dude, huh. you die. <laughs> Well, I, d- I, I, I also hoping, agree that, uh, and they say uh, sorry, abracadabra. I agree that the writing is a little sloppy in the sense that it would have been better if they had kind of had an idea of what was going on, and Picard could trick her into using magic during the trial, and then Jordy could pinpoint the location of what was going on. Instead, it kind of comes off as an accident, like, "Oh, she's no, no, doing no, this stuff," d- and all of a sudden, Jordy sees what's going on, and then he says, "Captain, we found it." No, no, no. Yeah. Remember, he does, he does, he does do that. He says, he says, "I need you. I need, I need her." I need her to do a big, a big uh, show of something so I could pinpoint. And he does. He he kind of pushes her during the trial, and he and she does the thing, and that's when oh, Jordy figures that. it out. Okay, okay. Yeah, I yeah, missed yeah, that a little he, bit too. Okay. Yeah, well, I, I feel like I, yeah, I feel like I saw that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, oh, he, my he, bad. Then. Jordy asks Picard, like, I need I need you to cause her to do something big at this moment, at, at, like around this moment, so I. Could I guess see. maybe 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 it was less of him like goading her into it, and she actually did it. I guess I, I missed yes. that a little bit in the trial, like. It, him like saying, "Oh, why don't you show us how powerful you are? No, You've just no, done this was, little this and that I mean, and the other." That's the part I like because it was very subtle. Because it was yeah, hard, okay. like Fair he enough. kind of like he basically reversed. Uh, what is it called? Um, reverse psychology. The shit out of it. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> it's like, mm-hmm. Yeah, you, d- don't show us anything right now, please. It's <laughs> and then she fucking <laughs> right. did it, and then he's like, and then she does it anyway. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, how that do part we I, feel? I that part. <laughs> how do we feel about? I thought was really interesting was the use of data as the judge because he can't, he can't, uh, he told Picard, he's like, look, I'm your friend, but like, I can't be, I'm like a robot. Like if, if it, if she proves and provides more evidence, I'm going to go with, I'm going to rule in her favor, you know? And Mm. I thought that was super interesting. Yeah. Don't you wish turns it around immediately. It's like, well, dude, you're the only one like unbiased enough to have, to give us a chance at all. Yeah. Like in the other that's direction. True. That's true. Yeah. yeah, yeah. No, that's yeah. true. Yeah. That it, is true. It, it, it is fun that it's like a role reversal because, you know, Data's last case, he is the defendant, essentially. Yeah. And yeah. now he's the judge. He gets that. Don't you wish the entire Supreme Court was, was just Data's instead of people that <laughs> yeah. were Yeah. Oh, oh my God. God. Would be nice. Yeah. That would be awesome. Yeah. 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 No, no There's an idea. That would be <laughs> the other. Like even oh even boy. for a side that I agree with, just have it be just straight logic. If, and da- law. if, if data yeah. said yeah. it, then I'm like, well, I mean, data said it. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't argue with that. I yeah. yeah, logic is the best judge. Meaning, like, like I don't want you to rule towards my favor ever. I don't want you to rule towards the the the, the other the other side. I don't believe in. Be objective. I yeah. I want you to be objective and be. Yeah. 
I don't want. I feel like you should. You, there should be no. Uh, there should be no conservative judges or liberal judges. There should just be judges no, who are like not. we're just we're just fucking logical here. We don't give a shit about well, anything. That's the way it's science. supposed to be, but we we know that that's <laughs> yeah. not true, of course. Yeah. Yeah. But mm-hmm. we need data basically on the Supreme yeah. Court. <laughs> yeah, we need Skynet, and then they can wipe us out, and we're, we'll be done with this stupid fucking thing. It's a little easier um, to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think I think it's a lot easier is that it all ends and then we're over. <laughs> then uh, then we'll get a fair shot. And the at planet anything. begins to heal. Yeah, <laughs> the planet like yeah. I, so, somebody who is actually very liberal was like the the we're killing the planet. And I'm like you fucking dunes. We can never kill a planet, dude. <laughs> the, we yeah, you're just killing we'll the kill habitable the planet. planet that we yeah. currently enjoy. Yeah. You're killing your house yeah. essentially. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Exactly. yeah no, on the, the planet, planet. The planet will really, kill us yeah. and continue yeah. on just yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> it will heal itself. Well, yep. The planet won't kill us either. It's us that are ki- kill. Yeah, will kill each other. True. Yeah, yeah. We, yes, but we're on track. We're on we're track very, to kill ourselves. It's very arrogant to think that we could kill a planet. <laughs> we don't have we don't <laughs> have enough nukes to do that. Um, no. um So um, yes, I. The planet, I do, the planet will heal. It'll heal yeah, without yeah. us. Yeah, they'll heal its own butthole um, <laughs> with its own preparation H. And uh, so basically, they prove her wrong, and they're like, "You're just a fucking, you're just an idiot, dude, who who likes to read a lot and knows how to do cool tricks." But my guy, he's blind. He's like Daredevil, and he smells things, <laughs> and he can figure them out better. Oh my Jody god, Jody is a Daredevil of fucking Enterprise, and I love it. Dude. He's the Daredevil of science. He's instead both of <laughs> Daredevil yeah. and the Predator. Yeah, oh, he's got that, like, that predator oh, vision. Yeah, he's like he does the predator. Have predator vision. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Also, speaking of which, doesn't the Klingon version of Satan look kind of like a predator? <laughs> yeah, it does. Like a really ugly predator. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, like a muppet. Are, are predators beautiful? <laughs> well, but here's the thing is that like it, when you make aliens for movies, if you make them humanoid, they're less grotesque and you uh, for some reason like your mind accepts that the, they're, it's willing to accept that better because, like, think about all the aliens in on TV. Even if they're tiny with big heads and green like skin, they're still mm. humanoid type, meaning they have they have arms, they have legs, and they have a head. They don't look mushy or like. Where I think if we really encountered an alien, it would be like that. We would, it would maybe. Isn't be it interesting a, a, how a we always form. we always make aliens yeah. like basically unappealing things that we like we don't like. Where like if an alien saw us, they'd be like, "Oh, they're ugly." Like what? yeah, they look you like, know, like like pigs. It's like a perspective thing. Like maybe we are the scary aliens to someone else, and they're normal, and they have their own beauty standards. Yeah, and then well, Star Trek's us, done that a few times. Yeah. Just, first, yeah. first yeah. off with the Ferengi, it's like, oh, you're ugly. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the Star Trek does both, both. Well, but like, who all, are we to say that? You know, it's always from yeah. our perspective. And remember, like, we're, we're like, bags oh. of mostly water. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I mean, it is literally we're we're writing the stories. So <laughs> yeah. It's, yeah, but we always put, we always make we always make the alien people like all the things that we don't find appealing. Like, oh, you have a big head. Oh, ah, like, that's not true. Some of that sometimes they make these aliens really sexy. So I don't think. Well, <laughs> yeah, that is true. I guess it depends what kind. We alien. have the aliens appeal to what we want for the story at the time. But they if make them disturbing. Them, no, if we but hate I mean, them, like, yeah. if we hate them they're aliens, ugly. If yeah, we like if we them, they're them. sexy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you know? But yeah, like, dude. I'm, I'm talking about like your traditional alien, like, you know, like, I mean, e- like ET, like alien, like they're usually like weird heads. They got like weird eyes and like all things that we are kind of afraid of. Like it looks unappealing to us, you know. Et, I, et, they intentionally designed et to not be unappealing. So I don't know if that's. But a he, great looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> he looks like a piece of shit. <laughs> Marvin, you're not going to sit gross. here. Marvin, you're not going to sit here and tell me that et is like cute no 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 okay you're very wrong they intentionally designed <laughs> et looks like a piece of crap they intentionally like designed her. et to be appealing to children it's why he has large <laughs> expressive eyes it's why his head is the main focal point it's like the same thing for yep. the navi like they made their eyes yep. really big they gave them cat like features navis navis are sexy shit dude you know, yeah, or like, are. what were you saying, Scott? Gro- Grogu is well, he's like a baby. Oh. Anything I said baby. Grogu, I said small. Grogu is a cute alien. Yeah, but yeah. but that's well, the thing. Look, what, look, look at Grogu versus. Yoda. Yeah, I mean, if you look at Grogu versus Yoda, you see the parts that they cutified from Yoda's yeah. template. He still yeah. feels shit. designed by committee. <laughs> <He's> <laughs> yeah. <totally laughs> <a scrap. laughs> 
I don't know. People he love like look, look at, I don't know where you're coming from. Look at Qui-Gon. Look at Qui-Gon. He's got two ponytails. He's an alien to somebody. If E.T. E. 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 was ugly, that movie would not have been successful. <laughs> By I'm the way, not going to sit here and have you tell me E.T. is not ugly. Come on. Like, e. That's no, no, ridiculous. People, people, like, Sarah, I feel like there's Sarah, a fairly <laughs> large contingent the out there. Up. who there's a, there, Sarah, there's a thin no, line between... There's a thin line. Tell me. There's a thin line between like ugly and like cute ugly but there's a thin line there's a thin line no, you know? honestly, that, that's correct and that used to be more of a prominent thing back in the 80s yes yeah, yes yeah, that, yeah. yes yeah like like you know you will go too far from et you get mac and me yeah. so you know yep, that's, yep. That's, <laughs> i'm like yeah. literally i'm googling et right yeah, now and i'm like there's, kids or the garbage pail kids? there's no yeah. way you're gonna convince me that et is a cutie like <laughs> Jeez, <laughs> so judgmental people Jeez. people literally yeah, got dude. et plushies <laughs> and they thought et yeah. was great like they See, yeah. you're, you're, you're shit shaming them. And, I, and I'm saying people. this, I'm saying this as someone who never liked E.T. I actually do not like E.T. as the either Scott, or the or the or the alien. Scott, do you yeah. think E.T. is cute? Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> Sarah, I was, I was, I was 12 years old when the movie came out. So it's like, it's, it's wired in my brain he's as a child to, to think <laughs> that he's cute. Plus, or is by he the way, cute because we gave him it, human qualities. Well, yeah, of course. Exactly. I mean, that's the whole. That's the okay, whole point. Okay, mine is the like, human qualities, just alone. Like, I show you this picture and I say, Scott, this is my new baby. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> well, is it cute? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if it was your baby, uh, yes, of course you'd have to. No, you would love, I would hope you're not going to lie to me oh, and so tell polite. me. Like, I would hope you'd be like that. Here's that the baby truth. looks hey, like speaking a baby. Speaking of which, there is such a thing as an ugly ass baby. <laughs> That's true. Uh, no, if no, you no, showed no, me that picture can, and said it was your baby, and to give you an opinion on it, I would say, can, "Where are the cats?" Can I say, as someone, <laughs> as, someone as someone who has pet the cats. A, a child, mm-hmm. I'm going to say a statement, and it's very fucking true. All babies are fucking ugly. <laughs> All these are ugly. <laughs> All these are ugly. There's, I appreciate there's literally, that so much. There's literally the, the, the viewers can't see this, but Dan fa- Dan's face literally had like a, v- a look of relief as as Ricardo said. <laughs> yeah, that. yeah. All <laughs> these are ugly, and there's there's literally like a point point zero 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 nine percentage of babies that are cute. Uh, my yeah. friend, she just had a baby, and she she sent a picture, and I was like, "That's the first cute baby I've seen in a long time." <laughs> And I said that to my other friend who had a baby and she, mm. and I'm like, I'm including your kid on this too. And she's like, no, I, I knew what you meant by this statement. <laughs> but I'm, also including, I'm also including my kid. Like I see pictures and I'm like, oh yeah, I, you know, at, in the yeah. moment you think, oh, he's kind of cute, but they're all ugly. They're all yeah. babies are fucking in ugly. In hindsight, shit. you're like, whoa. Yeah. Oof. Yeah. <laughs> all these are ugly, and there's a very thin, 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 thin percentage of babies that are like, oh, they're cute. But those are sometimes the babies that grow up to be ugly adults. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And you we're know, talking gotta, about babies like take, fresh out, take. fresh yeah, out. They yeah. grow into like the the cute phase, kind yeah. of. But like they initially, like they have it's, long head skulls yeah. and fucking yeah, it's really um, weird. Yeah, they're exactly. All ugly That's what I'm trying to say. Is, um, also, you know, humans are ugly inside yeah, and out. Yes. Um, let's continue. The human um, body is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> well, Boy, is it? <laughs> so. Jordy breaks it down. They shut her down and they say, fuck you. This case is fucking adjourned, dude. And Data's like, well, you won. Um, but this girl's <laughs> hot for fucking Picard the whole episode. Well, she's oh, fucking yeah, trying think, to get on his. Mm, on his yeah. I think we forgot to mention time. that if they, they added an extra stake, if Picard lost, she has he has to go with her. Yeah. And and be her like, sex slave. Yeah, and do, right? do whatever she yeah. wants. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Freely given, yeah. not forced. Yes. She's like, so every day you can somehow me. guarantee. I don't know. <laughs> he's like, he's like, that's fine, but I hope you like soft directions. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, we also so, have his, his sexy pajamas in this. Yeah. In this, yeah. Oh, yeah. His well, deep V. And then all the tricks that she did, uh, Picard yeah. does, because Jordy like programs it too. He comes like the ugly, you know what? Oh, never mind. I was going to say this, this ugly creature looks like a very prominent, Never mind. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> um, I don't no, want to we'll get hate mail again. We'll, we'll forever um, be wondering. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, it's it's a political figure. Um, uh, it's, but anyway. Rush Limbaugh. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you off air later. Um, okay. <laughs> and, 
on the and, Patreon, uh, newbie after dark. We'll, we'll, yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you want to join our Patreon, <laughs> we don't have a Patreon, everyone. <laughs> you don't shit on fucking people. But he basically like breaks it down, and Sherlock Holmes the shit out of it, and and it's all thanks to Jordy. That's what I like about this episode. That it wasn't Picard who figured it out. Like, oh yeah, he did the brush strokes, but it was fucking Jordy back up there. Can't fake the that Jordy work. will figure yeah. it out, and he yeah. did. Yeah, yeah, he did it. Um, and he, uh, Picard is that in this episode, he's a dude who didn't do shit for the fucking, who didn't do shit for the science project, but he's a really good talker. So you let, you're like, all right, <laughs> he's, I the presenter. Work, but he's the presenter. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah. was that yeah. person. I never did all the work, but I'm like, I'm going to sell a shit out of it. Just give it to me like that morning. Of, I'll and I'll, I'll, I'll oh yeah. my God. You're yeah. that person. Oh my yeah. God. In yeah. the crew? Wait, I, thought this that. Was, I thought this was, that was this whole podcast. Uh, <laughs> that's literally what you're still doing Ricardo oh my god oh my god that's so true oh my god my god it's like this your project it's and you're along. presenting it oh my god yeah Damn it. Um, so yeah I was really good at that I'd be like you, know, you guys just come up with it, it and then I'll, I'll just I'll, I'll learn the lines and, and, I'll, and I'll sell it um, <laughs> and you know what I, I didn't do any homework for biology class I didn't do any of the things and oh I passed the beat. Nice. I was uh, totally the person that would do all the work and just like hand it to you and be like, here you go. Yeah. yeah I also yeah. was. <laughs> yeah. You can and, do all and the I would, talking. I, and I would do this. I'd go, I'll do the talking, but when I get to a certain point, you got to point at the fucking, the, the board with the shit, dude. <laughs> that way, like, <laughs> more, le- more legitimacy. Like you're kind of like, you're like Vanna White kind of you're flipping the, Vanna, the yeah, letter. Letter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then it, 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 oh, nine times out no. of ten, it worked because people were like, oh, fuck. They got a guy fucking pointing at shit back here, dude. Oh, um, so coordinated. What the hell? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah. God. That's um, so funny. Yeah. Fantastic. So, <laughs> anyway, Picard, uh, you know, he he presents the science experiment and he he wins the case. And they, it's unclear what they're gonna do with her. Like, yeah. they're, just gonna, they're just gonna throw her off the planet. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I, I know, know but, but gonna, she's just gonna do it I to think someone she just else. Dismisses herself. She just goes away. Yeah. Well, like, they, they, oh, the well, soldiers I guess escort failed. her away. Somewhere. Yeah. They, yeah they, true. They, they have yeah, her they, in like the yeah, Loki, she was escorted, like, but they don't like say if she's arrested. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what they're gonna do with her, but they take her away, and then like the 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 president of the country, he's like, "Oh, you saved us. You are our, our god, Picard." Now. I mean, fair, to be fair, like she does <laughs> nevertheless have the ability to cause earthquakes, which can be damaging. That's true. <laughs> but but That's true. Also, she's got a weapon of mass destruction, basically. Uh, so it's been a week since I've seen the episode. Uh, it's they, been a while. <laughs> did sure. they explain Sorry. what she's going to do? They're going to do about her other flim flams. Are they doing that? No, they don't. Care no, they don't that. explain. They're like, well, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So those planets, sight, are still, those planets are still fucked and maybe yeah. still yeah. wondering where their devil went. <laughs> yeah. Then, they're like, our devil's never come back. What do we do with these iPhones? Um, <laughs> unless all that stuff she was saying about, you know, <laughs> having many names and many forms and all that stuff was all like prep it's, for it's, this one it's, con. It's yeah. all of, oh, of all oh, of yeah, Flam. dude. This is the Ocean's Eleven of cons, dude. Yeah, but it failed. She thought she had like a perfect <laughs> yeah. con for this one planet only, and it, it fell through. Okay, okay. So she. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Hold on, I got a question. You know, she was like doing the "Are you the key master?" thing with Picard. Mm-hmm. Uh, she was yes. she was presumably ready to use her powers to supplement sexy times with Picard. She was like, "I could do anything you want, baby." But like, would that have included her ship's like stuff? Like, how would that work? Yeah, I'm not sure. Also, we pointed out that she changed to the wrong lady. She should have turned into Beverly, not Deanna. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. That's true. Yeah, but they yeah. they did that for the audience. Yeah, <laughs> we we we've kind of been wanting to see that. I mean, I have uh, just to just to <laughs> shake it up. You know what I mean, just shake it up. <laughs> Just a just a, oh. just a, a side dalliance between the yeah and yeah, yeah 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 that's right. actually uh, this may only be for Marvin but watching that and this is for something that happens it's not a, really a spoiler at all but there the costume that she chooses as his ideal woman mm. is like an old Victorian woman yeah mm-hmm. oh yeah it's true which comes up. In is that his the type? Movie. Oh. Yeah, he likes he likes old he likes Sherlockian old, ladies. Old, I wonder. Like, I wonder if old? like the yeah. movie later goes, we're gonna we, they kind of retcon it to sort of. Well, that outfit kind of reminded me of what uh, yeah. Doctor Pulaski was wearing in the Moriarty episode. Yeah, it might be the same actual right. suit she wore when they went into Sherlock. <laughs> P- Picard's yeah. type is is a type of lady that like shows ankle, and that's too much. They're like, oh, she's <laughs> ankles, baby. 
So that yeah. Irish lady, she, <laughs> but it's it was, it's yeah. interesting that Patrick. I guess it's just that Patrick Stewart and John Luke Picard. They just evoke that he's just would be into like the literary he's version very of Shakespeare. Old yeah. He likes frills. Very, yeah, Man, Shakespeare. Yeah. Shakespeare. Yeah. Wanted, yeah. I kind of wanted Sarah, it to be something Sarah. wild. Yeah, I can Sarah, can you hear us? Oh, okay, shit, wait. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. I can okay. Hear you. I'm just testing because yeah. he messaged us, and I was like, "Oh boy, she can't hear us again." We ignore her. <laughs> no, 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 that message <laughs> is just a picture of ET. Okay. She's trying to convince us that ET is ugly. What it's is good. happening? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll, I'll put it in. I'll the share thing. it with Scott. The picture. Oh, there. Yeah. Yeah. There. Yeah. Okay. You cannot tell oh. me. Just going back. That's to adorable. This. While we're waiting, I don't wanna, I don't wanna... <laughs> that looks like something <laughs> in the toilet, Scott. You cannot. <laughs> you cannot <laughs> he is. Oh, his little wide smile on his. That big it's like what you something you find in Vader's litter box, and you go, "Holy shit! Very, I need to take got, him to the vet." He's got very Wally-ish oh. proportions with the yeah, yeah that's wide room. Exactly, oh, right. Wally. Yeah, exactly. But you I know, I don't know. That's just my. I, I guess I don't know. I mean, ET is like the baby thing. I guess you know. Yeah, and I think also Some part people, of it were were ET's mannerisms. Like he walked around like waddling. Yeah, it was like, all about you know, his behaviors, yeah, and, and, and he was trying to finger everything. He was like, "Yeah, oh yeah." And he spoke baby like, so he's like ET. Yeah. It's like Grogu, yeah. where oh, they literally put him in like a little crib and stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or within put plush big, animals. Put a big you know? shirt on him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, I, I'm going to rate this episode a seven and a, a seven. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to rate it a six. And part of that is that I, I, when I was watching this, I was discussing it with Sarah. Uh, from the very beginning, you are like, okay, you know exactly what's going on. Yeah, and yeah. the end of the episode kind of just says, just explains exactly what's going on. And I thought there was uh, an opportunity for that middle part where she starts fucking with Picard on the ship, yeah. and is like, you know, in his quarters and like, you know, Mute on Deanna. the bridge, a, yeah, doing all that stuff, sexy stuff. There's, yeah. it, it doesn't commit to an idea. It's sort of just continuing the idea of uh, Ardra liking Picard. Right. Yeah. So I kind of wish it escalated things. Either it could have gone in the way of, oh, she starts doing things that are so crazy, so Q like that Picard goes, okay, I'm actually having trouble figuring out what's going on. I yeah. can see that's very difficult to write and probably wouldn't have been able to do that very easily in this type of story. So I mm -hmm. can see that maybe you wouldn't go down that path. You would probably need a really, really good rewrite to be able to do that. But then the other way they could have gone is she actually goes, yeah, I am a con artist. And the rest of the episode is Picard trying to convince these people. She yeah. literally told me she's a con yeah. artist. Yeah. But she, when she goes back to the planet, she that's, goes, he's just lying. You know, That's a baller Computer, move. Computer, play like back that. the video yeah. logs of my quarters. <laughs> yeah. So I, and he's like, but, no, not that one, not that one. <laughs> because, because then you... Because the, the, the tension for the audience is fake. Because the audience yeah. knows right away she's a, she's a flim flam artist, you know? So he's like, I, I, he's like, oh, Deanna. Oh, Deanna. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. God damn it. So dude. I was hoping there was a... There could be like a different set of stakes they apply to it which might yeah. have been interesting but i don't think mm. the whole audience like uh, no, like <laughs> general audiences weren't necessarily that dismissive of the premise like i think some of them might like go along with the rides like okay like she is doing impossible things what what's happening here <laughs> or you know they're they're, they're just going along and seeing how will they explain it and then they do and it turns out it's exactly what picard said at the beginning which is kind of why it's a little bit like eh to me Make as it well. show number one. But yeah, the thing I, is, like, even before <laughs> Picard started explaining it, I, w I was literally tell telling Sarah, I was sitting next to her, I was like, that could just be a transporter. That could just be a hologram. Oh. Like, you know, like, yeah, but that's you, that's, though. Right. But I, I feel like some, yeah. it, this, we're, we're in the fourth <laughs> season. I feel like an audience member would probably be like, they have these things, don't they? Like, why can't, yeah, that's true. Can't that's well, I mean, the way that, well, like, one thing that I don't like about these explanations, though, is like not only sure a transporter can transport things around, but it usually takes a long fucking time. And these things are near instant that she's doing. That's well, true. That's it's, true. It's, it's, she's and got the well. She's got she's got planets building her fucking Apple products. She's got the best of the best, dude. <laughs> she's not, and her like she's not cloaking well, device that is called a bad copy of the Romulans is apparently good enough to make the Enterprise disappear in like half a second. Yeah, dude. That's true. Well, David mm -hmm. Copperfield like, made the, the Statue of Liberty disappear. It's not that hard, dude. That's right. That's true. <laughs> Technology exists, apparently. Yeah, dude. They actually it's put like, a sheet over yeah, their shuttlecraft. Like they, they <laughs> offer <laughs> these <laughs> explanations that don't. <laughs> 
<laughs> my point being that they offer these explanations that, you know, technically, yes, it's true that they it produce the same effects, but the way they're presented in the show is better than what we know these these technologies to be. I guess that's true. I, I just, I kind of wish that there was a separate and for that reason, I'm like, okay, fine. Maybe you'll have an explanation, but it's not a good explanation. It's still, oh yeah, it's transport technology. Then why yeah. is it so much better? I, well, not better, it's different, I think. Or faster. Well, well, the transporting is much faster, which is interesting um, well, and not not super explained because, um, you know, even like the Enterprise needs a solid like three seconds to transport somebody. Here's so. the thing, Marvin, dude, when you don't have socialized fucking science, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so Ardra, Ardra actually has a privatized yeah. science Ar- yeah, developing. Well, uh, she's got free science because she's not paying any. She's She's got an uh, authoritarian fucking science division, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they just work day and night. They don't take fucking uh, breaks. All right. Um, all right. What do you guys I'll, make it, what do you guys I'll make it a 6.5. I'll make it a 6.5. Uh, uh mm. the rest of you guys, what do you think? Yeah. I'm at a six. Six. I'm gonna change Sarah, mine six and think? a half. Six and a half. Sorry. <laughs> mm, I'm gonna go with a seven, I think. Okay. Because although I now that I brought in the bedazzled aspect, I kind of want to see that version of you know how like she would like transport Brendan Fraser into like a the cocaine <laughs> guy. And, like, oh yeah, or the basketball player. Yeah, and, like yeah. Yeah. you think the card would be the cocaine guy? He's like, I, yeah, just me. yeah he just <laughs> speaks Spanish all of a sudden. I love Picard that just, movie. Picard just now wants just, to yeah. be in different Shakespeare yeah. scenarios. He yeah, goes, exactly. Oh, the fifth. Oh, yeah, exactly. Like oh, like and then he could do could his make Sherlock a program thing. Program in the holodeck to do all this. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, now I'm kind of wanting to see that and like. Now that's all I want, and I'm convinced of this idea. And with Elizabeth so. Hurley? Yeah, of course. Hell yeah. Oh, and hell like, yeah. yeah, they've got to be. I don't know how old Patrick Stewart is nowadays, but. Uh, he's he's about be. to die. He looks like. <laughs> 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 no, seriously. I think that's what he, I, I think that's why I, I saw him at Comic Con, and I'm like, that. I, I now I know why they, so, they probably really? can't. Like, recently? I know why they canceled uh, Picard, probably, because he's going to mm. die soon. Well, they're having one last season, and they're shooting it now. Yeah, but I'm saying then it's over though. Well, I think they're canceling it because it's, cut, cut, it's not good. They, <laughs> but no, they they their whole they I think around season one they were saying no, we're only doing like three seasons of this. We're not we're okay. not extending so th- this well, like a super yeah. long time. So yeah, and, well yeah, now that's what I kind of want to see. And that I mean, I the nostalgia only works for so long, and yeah. Yeah. audiences are already getting pissed. So. It, yeah, yeah. Really time they're, to like, stop. they're like, there's no fucking lens flare in this fucking show. 82. <laughs> yeah. So, so yeah, yeah he's 82. He's, Running he's around like 82. a superhero. 82. Jesus yeah, Christ. Yeah, dude. Same age as Mick Jagger. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know. Is that actually true? Oh. I don't know. It seems like it. It seems like Mick Jagger and um, what's the guitar player's name? Um, uh, Keith, Keith Richards. Richards. Oh, they yeah. never die. They're goddamn vampires, dude. <laughs> Mick Jagger is 79. Yeah. Oh. All right. Pretty close. Patrick Stewart's Keith Richards awesome. is a goddamn I wonder, vampire. I wonder what it feels like, <laughs> though, to like, I mean, essentially, these these people are working to, until death. They don't have a retirement. Isn't that No, weird? no. I think, well, I think they have like, too many. Well, Mick Jagger has like 35 kids to support. <laughs> <laughs> he literally had a kid like two years ago. <laughs> Oh and I think, like, it depends like, on... Patrick the, Stewart doesn't get a break. I feel bad. Like, Well, he's Patrick still Stewart doesn't want to stop working. It's like... Or it's a die. Yeah, he, it's, it's <laughs> like, these are people who like to keep working. Like, yeah. there are actors who did reach this age who decided to stop working. Like Gene Hackman. He decided to Martin, just never it's, you're work missing anymore, my you know? point. It's yeah. not about whether you, if you want to work or not. I just think there's an age where you should stop working in general. Well, like, if, no you matter, want if you want to... Yeah, yeah, if your job is not essential, then I think it's fine. If you're an actor, why not? We need fucking those Walmart people want to see you Sarah yeah we need Walmart (laughs) creators yeah yeah, like again if it's like an airline pilot or it's like a policeman or a firefighter or something no you stop but he's he's just acting like like, here we go here we go (laughs) or the president of the United (laughs) States exactly or a general (laughs) here's the thing fucking president of the United States if you are over I'm I'm gonna lower each time I fucking lower it (laughs) 55 dude 55 you're too fucking old dude yeah, yeah. You, 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 don't, that. you don't have the pulse of the yeah. of the country dude yeah. I, I talk to my dad or or anybody that oh and like they have like they'll they, they'll tell you what's going on kind of but 
that's not what that's not what kids yeah. are doing. Like you you you've lost touch. You lost your touch, man. So, Fifty five and under. Yeah, yeah. The craziest I mean, thing is, yeah. is is like the like presidents like the youngest president was like it's, it's in contention, but it's between Theodore Roosevelt and John F. Kennedy, and that's forty two or forty three years. You know, yeah. and it's like. That's not even that young. I feel like that would never, I feel like that would never happen. It's like, I feel like all of our presidents need to be like knocking on death's door. And that's the only way. We're <laughs> that's the only them. way. <laughs> like it's, it's care. It's terrible. Like why uh, are we. One day we will see a president that grew up on internet memes. Oh, we will, we will oh, have yeah. to live through this. Well, I probably won't, but you guys will. <laughs> no, we won't. We won't. I, I mean, it, from from my mouth to my gold listen, ears. Listen, listen. Let's end listen. it all. Let's finish it all. Let's get another pandemic going. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my uh, god. Too many. Oh, you know what? I have forward. one last little piece of trivia, uh, and it actually relates to Picard. Okay. Um, so the, the guy show? who played, yeah, the show, the guy who played okay. Jared. The, the the leader of their society that was all mm-hmm. stupid. Yeah. Um, his sure. actor, Sorry. the actor's name is Marcelo Tubert or Tubert. Oh, Tubert. I don't know. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tubert. Uh, <laughs> the guy who looks a bit like John Turturro. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's definitely Tubert. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he actually was in Picard as well, but not huh. as Jared. Instead, oh, he, he was, yes, he played right. a guy named Mr. Alvarez. Yes. You're right. What what did Mr. Alvarez do? <laughs> I don't know, but it it, 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 <laughs> uh, it was just like oh, uh, you know, actor showed up in the Picard show. Interesting. Just like, like a walk on, the like hallway. a very. He he. Yeah. This guy's a he, this guy's an Argentinian uh, actor, and he's been in a bunch of stuff. You recognize him if you see him without without. Oh yeah. yeah, his face looks okay. familiar. Yeah, yeah, like Marcelo yeah. Dubert. Because he's Scott, Spanish what do you rate? Oh, slash French. Yeah, give your rating uh, and your reasoning. In, in French, French rating. Yeah, in France. Now we've only you know, you're allowed, French, to do, like, you're you're allowed to do fake French like the Picards yeah. did. So you can. Yeah. You can, <laughs> I mean, I guess we Louis. did bail him out of a war. So. Louis. They owe us. The, Louis. Louis. Well, the, part, the Picards migrated to the French. Anyway, that's all explained. On the show. Um, <laughs> that's a massive retcon. <laughs> that's a huge Boy, retcon. <laughs> and a spoiler, a spoiler that you won't get to if you do this every week for the next 30 years. Um, I give the episode overall, I probably give it, uh, I'll give it a, the episode a 6.5 just because oh of, like God. I say, it's sort of, it's sort of, I like it. I enjoy it. But like I say, it's a little thin on the writing aspect of it. And like the, like I say, you sort of kind of know what's going on and that she's somehow going to be exposed as a fraud one way or another, but we don't know how. And then they figure it out, but I'll give it an extra half a point because she's so hot. (laughs) (laughs) Do you have dreams where she's your friend? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Then you go get Del Taco. <laughs> no, we go to we go to In and Out. We go to In and Out in San Francisco. You guys take a nice walk on the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, oh, hey, hell it was yeah. a wholesome you know dream. She's, she was cool. <laughs> get some In and Out. I think I think this I think the script is a symptom of it having just existed so long, and like they were yep. just kind of figure out what to do with it and finally they're like ah let, let's make her like a sassy sexy devil and then that's that's sort of yeah. where everything else kind of sprung from it and they're just it, like it definitely feels like an older script and that's why it doesn't it for a next gen script it's not it doesn't have any of those like all the like the extra moving parts and stuff you like to see but i i do agree also i like the fact that like data's got a got something to do and jordy's mm-hmm. got a lot you know got a huge thing to do um mm-hmm. and picard yeah, is huge. just sort of like Picard's a huge thing to do. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, and the Warfare Picard's just sort scared of, of the devil. He's kind of, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like the devil he's shows just, up and, and Data oh. sort of raises his Data sort of raises his phaser like that's going to do anything. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, uh, like I say, I, p- I picked the episode just because it's sort of it's sort of like, for lack of a better word, it's a middling episode where people kind of remember it because of Audra's sort of a rememberable character, but overall, it's mm-hmm, sort mm-hmm. of a forgettable like what happens in the. Oh yeah, she was just conning this planet but and there's not a whole lot flim flam else artist. to it you just made me yeah. wonder what if they just shot her with a phaser what would she have done <laughs> Warfish yeah, fires right? and he was goes, she scared me, <laughs> like, oh, she startled me. 
<laughs> on to the next <laughs> it one. It worked. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh man, this is what I that think you're a We would have no ep- We have no episode. It would just end, and it's like that. Well, that's the end. Well, they did say gone. they did say her tricks were were from like micro movements of her eyes. So if she saw someone shoot a phaser, she could like move her eye to create a shield. So mm. uh, presumably, yeah, like sure. a Borg. Presumably, Assuming her if eyes someone shot as a back. laser. Yeah, yeah I mean, from the back. like yeah. how your eye movements have to be pretty. Quick to like well, we've seen that, that laser bolts and all that kind of stuff in Star Trek aren't necessarily at the speed of light. That's true. That's true. Yeah, they, they, they definitely they have move, travel. They move time. by energy, not light. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's true. That's true. There, it's a manifestation of energy. Uh, yeah, not, not not a light beam necessarily. And eye saccades, saccades, saccades. Uh, eye saccades are quite fast, so you could do whatever that. those yeah. are. Oh, the the movement when you when you snap from side to side that is a saccade. Oh, a there you go. Term. Okay. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's those that devils do. What a wacky episode! Is, I I do like that it was wacky. <laughs> it was pretty wacky in lots of places. It's a little weird. You're like, yeah, yeah, you're having fun. Yeah, with it I mean, and, it's always yeah. fun to see episodes. I mean, there's a lot of episodes where women are trying to get in Picard's little V neck. <laughs> I mean, can pajamas. you blame them? Look at him. Yeah, <laughs> in his little green pajamas. His, <laughs> people are trying to climb into his pajamas. You know, like yeah, it's climb it's down very his common. Yeah. I mean, and I'm always surprised that Picard's never like, mm, all right, yeah, let's let's do it. You know, yeah. like only I'm once so shocked. far. So far, only yeah. once. And that's while he was in danger and danger yeah, turns with the, on. With the so. adventure Vosh? girl. Adventure young girl, right? Vosh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Vosh is the He was Indiana like, That's Jones. my type. He was like, yeah, That's my type. <laughs> Give me your yeah. captain's log. I was I was trying my best to not say the stampede. Uh, just say it. Just say it. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Freaking weeb. Uh, if you guys have been enjoying the podcast, that's you, the listener I'm talking to. If you guys have been enjoying the podcast, it'd be great. If you could give us a rating or review wherever you are, Apple Podcasts, they do reviews. Oh, and also uh, Podcast Addict does reviews, you know, Spotify does ratings, etc. But also, there's a good chance you might in the future be listening to this on YouTube because we're starting to roll out those episodes now. What? And yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, if, if you're listening to it on YouTube, give us, a, you know, give us a, a like and then maybe, you know, tell us what you'll... You could, one nice thing about the YouTube thing, people can co- actually directly comment on the episode. Yeah, yeah. So that's actually really been, nice to see. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like comments on yeah, full episodes and not true. just like a TikTok or something. Yeah. Yes. I guess that is so different. So that people actually cool. mention or, or discussing things that are like, oh, th- that's weird that you you obsess about soda or something like that. <laughs> uh, so <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> well, that got, that got Ricardo really hard for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. This is, it seems like something I would say. <laughs> so, uh, so, so yeah, so that be, that's cool. If you're, if you're there doing that. And then also, uh, if you would like to send us a letter or a, a digital letter, an email <laughs> asking us a, qu- uh, a digital letter. parcel, <laughs> an electronic, electronic part. letter. An electronic, electronic mail. mail. Yeah. yeah. Oh, damn it, uh, Marvin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We did it. We did it. Uh, you know, question, comments, complaints. Complaints are also welcome. Please go, come right ahead. Uh, you can always send us an email at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. This Tell us week. how much you love Scott and how yeah. he's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Give Scott some roses. Yeah, okay. give Scott oh. some roses. He's amazing. We love him. And I know yes. he's oh. popular. It's only because I take care of your cats. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> well, we take care and of your... we take care of Vader and back. So <laughs> Yes indeed. Yeah. But he you know, you. I do I do love Scott for taking care of my babies. Yeah. yeah. Well, this week's uh, letter is from Adam. Adam. Hey, newbies, Adam here. Oh, the 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 sub well, subject line is the shuttle door and Troy losing her crutch. So, uh, oh, hey, newbies, crutch. <laughs> hey, newbies, Adam here. I just wanted to point out something comical in the episode final mission. In case you missed it, I recently rewatched the episode a couple of weeks ago and noticed that during the shuttle crash in the beginning of the episode, Picard comes rushing through the door. And for the rest of the scene, the door is flailing everywhere. There are at least two scenes where Wesley goes to try and close the door (laughs) because he keeps slamming into him. The editors do their best to try and cut it out, but it is noticeable and a funny little Easter egg on a second watch. I really want to find that. Oh, that's great. Oh, wow. I actually really want to see that. I don't recall that at all. That's hilarious. Also, in the episode The Loss, Deanna losing her powers and instantly sucking ass at her job shows just how much she uses it as a crutch for her job 
Was she even qualified this whole time? Love you guys, Adam. So for that last point, I'm actually yeah. going to disagree. I think the fable or the moral, not the fable, the moral isn't that she needed her powers to do her job. It's that she was depending on it, but then could always do her job. She never really needed it to do her job. I mean, that's so how they intended maybe, to write it, at least. Well, yeah, yeah. I think it, I mean, but as the viewer, I think we're kind of like, well, she kind of relies on her powers and then she's kind of really shitty at her job without it. So even <laughs> well, more Well, then she so. ended up being good. She, she ended up having the right call with her patient. Was she? And- was she? Yes. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, 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 you know, I feel like every episode she just like, she's either wrong or she doesn't add anything to <laughs> You're wrong, Deanna. Yeah. Deanna. Yeah. Deanna. My favorite, one of my you're favorite lines from the whole you're series. You're out of your element, Deanna. You're out of your element. You're wrong, Deanna. You're so, you're you're wrong. so wrong. You're, you're wrong, so wrong. Deanna. By the way, I, I loaded up Final <laughs> Mission, and there is in, that door is indeed opening a lot. <laughs> <laughs> pretty great. What's wrong with that door? Why is it doing that? <laughs> it's just, I, I guess it was great. just on a loose hinge, and whenever they tried to shake what? the set around to make them, you know, like you it's know, fu- jostle. Oh, that's so uh, it they, was they opening can't lock on its those own. fucking doors shut. Uh, oh my god! Uh, Please make a TikTok of this so that we can see this. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah oh, great. Well, well, I'm definitely, I'm definitely gonna make a TikTok of this moment. No, you're wrong. I feel better today than I have in ages. You're absolutely the wrong, Deanna. <laughs> You're, You're absolutely, absolutely wrong, Deanna. Wrong, Deanna. <laughs> You're just wrong. Deanna's You're a wrong. difficult character to write because you've, yeah. you're giving her the power to like read minds, essentially. You have to like give her big like debuffs somehow, big obstacles to overcome. Either that or make time. her willingly yeah. ignore or disregard many things that she would be privy to. Yeah. Which over exactly. time I can kind of believe. <laughs> like if you're just bombarded I, with I it guess. all the time, twenty four seven, you, I'm, I'm sure you learn to tune it out, like Superman. Yeah, yeah, but then Superman knows to turn it on in the right moments. But Tana doesn't always. But no, Tana, she it's doesn't. An island. And she's wrong. <laughs> oh no! Never save anyone, Clark. <laughs> <laughs> Let me die, Clark. <laughs> they can't know. <laughs> They can't know. I'll go after the dog, not you. Yeah. Why? Even though you're even though you're so fast that no one would even see you. <laughs> <laughs> you probably uh, kill the dog though. <laughs> hey everybody, Zack yeah. Snyder sucks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for the letter, Adam. That was very, very kind of you to send that thank letter you, to Adam. us. Thank you, Adam. Very fun. I'm gonna take a look at that later. Yes. I'm planning to look at it for footage. And also, uh, if you guys have been enjoying what we've been doing so far, you could uh, find other things we do. Uh, just head on over to FugitiveFrames.com. There's links to all sorts of stuff we do, like the Fugitive Frames film podcast, our YouTube Let's Play channel, Fugitive Games, mm-hmm. and a bunch of other stuff. And again, make sure to find our YouTube channel for Newbie Star Trek and uh, subscribe there because, uh, you know, we're coming out with video versions of the podcast. They've been lovely, very well animated by our good friend, John Velez, who is going to be our guest next week for Clues. Ah, he's no, French. That'll be, yeah. Ah, uh, that's French. Yes. <laughs> Jasmine thought Clues clues would be a good one for him because it's not so lore heavy and it's more, it's data heavy, actually. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, so. <laughs> I see what you did <laughs> Sorry? Does it have Tim Curry in it? No, unfortunately. Just regular curry. It's the wrong clue. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's Madeline Kahn. It's clues. It's a sequel to Clue. It's clues. <laughs> Directed by <laughs> James Cameron. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> all right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna watch clues next week. We'll see you guys next time. Scott, thank you so much thank for joining you, us. Scott. It's a pleasure as always. Yeah, yeah, always good to me. have you, man. Uh, always. Always. Love being here. Yeah, always a thank pleasure. You. Thank you. Till so next much. time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Devils do me. E.T. is not cute. Leprechaun. Leprechaun two. Leprechaun three. Leprechaun in the hood. What? Why leprechauns? Leprechaun in the hood. That's a good movie. Leprechaun in space. That's a good one too.